Oh yeah, what is going on, legal experts? It is me, Ouija the God, here to be the best legal expert you ever did see. Hello! How is it going, gamers? I have finally arrived, I have unmuted my microphone, and now I'm talking into it to you live through the power of the internet. Can you believe that? How far this crazy technology computer business has come? Hi, gamers, how is it going? Welcome to a thrilling Lawyer Saturday. We're gonna do some good law today. Uh, we're going to do some investigating, I assume, and it's just gonna be great. We're gonna have a great time. In the final case, of the final game in the trilogy, if you can believe that. It is so close to being over. We are almost at the top of the mountain. We're on, we're nearing the top. It's just a little bit more. We gotta keep on climbing. How is it going, pre-stream chatters? How is it going, VOD heads? I know you can't really respond to this, but I hope you're having a wonderful VOD day. Oh, man! I don't know how to feel. I, I I feel like bittersweet right now. It's sad, but it's happy because we're almost at the end. But once we finish, that means it's the end. And that will make me sad because I've had fun. And when something is fun and it stops, then you don't get to have more fun until you play the other games in the, in the, you know, the entire franchise of which there's like seven or eight. So it's not like there's not plenty more Ace Attorney content to do. It's just, you know, we've come so far with Nick and Maya and pretzel kind of and it's just it's, i'm gonna be sad to see him go even though i'm sure they're in the other games too i know for a fact that you know phoenix Wright is in the other games but you know what i mean and dick who could forget about dick he better not die my streamer is playing case five today yes consult the title my friend it is true i am here doing that thing that you just said that i am going to do because i am your streamer I'm gonna make a little bit of a Discord note. Holy moly, failure, starting off strong with 25 gifted subs. Okay, well thank you very much, failure, for the 25 gifted subs, that is very generous. Thank you so much, failure, thank you, failure. Failure, oh, you and your 481 in the channel? Jesus Christ, you're only 19 away from 500? That's insane, that's real close, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let me make a little tweet here, too. Now, I said I was going to make my Discord post. I'm going to hit him with the double whammy and also make a little tweet. Is this how we're starting it out, really? With 35 gifted subs in total? Thank you, Gabe the Altaria, for the 10 gifted tier 1 subs. Thank you. Well, gee, that's a pretty gr that's a great way to start. I could just wrap up right now, you know? Like, I've met my quota. I'm fine. I, I can just, like, you know what? In fact, I'll see you all on Lawyer Sunday. Thanks for coming, guys. Th no, guys. I'm just kidding around. Do you really think that I would do that in the stream prematurely? No, no, no. That's never a thing that I would do for any reason. What kind of a terrible bit would that be? Uh, well, cheers. We gotta do a little bit of drinking real quick. A hype train is close. Wait, that doesn't even contribute towards the hype train? I mean, wait, what is the percentage at right now? Am I not at level five? I should be. Or because it didn't start, is it not even registered? I don't know how this works. Thank you, Evil Master Sean, for the tier one sub, though. Work was tough today. Thank you for stream uh, to relax. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's a big hype train. Okay, that all, that all counts. Yo, what's up, Adriana, also? Hello. Cheers to Melissa Foster. I don't know if we're cheersing to Melissa Foster per se, but I will drink and I will say the word Melissa Foster. Melissa Foster. Evil. Evil, vile woman, that one. Hype trains only start after three separate sub-bit events. Oh, man, you would think, like, a guy who does this every day for the past, like, almost a year would recognize that by now, but here I am. Um, well, gee. Huh, I don't know how many drinks this is in total, but we're just going to go ahead and take a whole bunch of drinks right now. We have to do the four prerequisite drinks, and then we have to do all of the, uh, hype train drinks. That's, uh, two plus three, that's five, if my math is correct here. I'm not much of a math guy, more of a lawyer guy, but I think it's somewhere in that range. So we're gonna do our best. What is this? Discord day, also known as server day or discord.gg slash Ouija the God day, is a Japanese national holiday usually celebrated every, every day anyone makes a Discord post. The purpose of this holiday is to give thanks to the community and to consider the importance of Discord server to Ouija the God as a stream. Yes, if you haven't joined my Discord, do it. 
and I'll like never post in there except for announcements. And then you can see when I'm streaming and it'll be awesome. Even though it's usually like 9 p.m. Central Standard Time anyway. So you can just like click on the website and check to see if I'm actually, you know, online or whatever. But that's neither here nor there. We still got to do these drinks. And thank you for joining my Discord, everyone. Thank you. And other people post in there too, I guess, you know. Kate, who's the killer? You, the blue knight. It's you. And don't pretend like it's not, because I know it is. Thank you, I need professional help for the 186 biddies. Howdy, gamers. Let's do this. Pour your sky vodka into your glub shit cup. It's the beginning of the end. Let's do this. That's the plan, except I don't have my glub shit cup with me, unfortunately. Uh, as you can see, we do need to take just a few drinks before we get the ball a rolling. You know how much I like to stall these streams out, you know? I really like to stretch the content. Make it go as long as possible. And especially since I'm almost at the end of my rope here, I really gotta, like, unweave the rope and really stretch out all of those individual threads. Because after Case 5 is done, that means I have to play a new video game. And I don't know what it's going to be, except I do. I'm lying to you right now. I have everything predestined for the next, like, five years. But it's going to be great. And I'm going to be sad to see it go. We got to keep on drinking, gamers. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. I think I'm owing, like, uh, like 11 or 12 shots right now on the board, something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, we'll do our first, like, few, and then we'll just, like, save the rest for later, because it's kind of a lot. It's Rice Boy. Think of it the prime. It's Rice Boy, two months away from the big three-year badge. Well, unfortunately, three-year badges are not a thing. However, uh, you get it in your mind and in your heart. Three years is a long time. Thank you, It's Rice Boy. Long time fan. Long time viewer. Just an overall great Rice Boy boy you know just love that rice boy one of the greatest rice boys i ever did see in my life shout out that's dedication right there thanks for staying subbed even though i haven't streamed for a majority of the time that i've actually been partnered on the website that's very cool cheers again 12 shots on the board right now oh, oh, oh. well there's one less I think that was, yeah, that was the fourth prerequisite drink, okay? What is this? I have to read this one, too? Case 5. Oh, well, hang on. I'll do that in a bit. Yo, a series of tubes. Thank you for the 1,600 bits. I beat up Cleffy in Vodland as ordered Cade. Here's his lunch money, 100 bits. Thank you, a series of tubes. I know I can always count on you to uh, provide some muscle when needed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Case 5 Day, also known as the End of AA Trilogy Day or End of Maya Burger Day, is a Japanese national holiday usually celebrated on the fifth chapter of Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. The purpose of the holiday is to give thanks to Cade for all the great Ace Attorney content, to consider the importance of the mods and the gifters for making the stream experience great, and to celebrate the end of Ace Attorney. Wow, I'm so surprised I didn't get called like Cade at the end there, or Kado or something stupid like that. Thanks, guys. I, I can't believe it. You're actually being nice to me for a change? What kind of weird timeline is this? It was just totally unexpected, but thank you. I'm trying my best here. Uh, we're gonna do like one more shot and then we're gonna hop into it, gamers, and then we're going to get the ball rolling. It's going to roll so fast that it's gonna break right through your wall and hit you in the face. Cheers. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Continue! No more flashing back. We got trials and tribulations to solve in the current. Let's do it right now. Here we go. Lightning Bolt! Who the hell is that? Yo, she got the sword! Wait, that's the great Lady Faye, whatever her name is. The Shishishito, the treasured Kurain village heirloom, whose name means seven-branched sword. Yes, I played Sekiro. I know that one. Look at that. Wow, it's kind of like fucked up and chipped in a lot of places. It kind of stinks. It is said that this sacred sword represents life itself. And judging the quality, it's not a good life. Though the branch branches may appear to be infinite, the choice is limitless. There's only seven. It's not that infinite. 
like our destinies, the sword comes to but one end, one merciless point. The tip. Don't show her! And when the silver cord, the fragile thread that binds us to this world, is severed, there's me. Don't sever me! I don't want to be severed! Please don't. Zap! Nice feet. Oh my god, someone is dead! What happened? The illusion is revealed and the impl uh, implacability of fate is finally laid bare. Implacability, yeah, I can read guys, you see. Well, damn. I don't know how that affects me. I'm just like trying to get a burger with my girl. February 6th, 9.48 a.m. Right in co-law offices. Hey, Nick! Yeah, white! You know how I've got spiritual powers unlike you? Yeah, you are a spirit medium after all. It's a weird thing for you to remind me of just out of the blue like this, but... But just like you, if I don't keep my powers sharp, they get dull, right? I guess so, maybe. Not for Pearl. Pearl can just do whatever she wants, really. Glad you agree. Okay, Pearly, you're up. Pearls? There she is! It's my little pretzel. There she is. So, that's why we need to go on a special spiritual hotspot tour, Mr. Nick. What? I'm lost. What's this magazine you're shoving in my face? I can't read too good, you know. It's the New Year's issue of O oh, Cold Winter Spiritual Location Special. Why do you have a subscription to O oh, Cult Magazine? Oh, Colt. Pearls look so happy. Maximize your spiritual powers with just one night of in <laughs> intensive training. Oh, it sounds too good to be true. I'll say, it sounds more like a scam to me. It's at a spiritual retreat called Hazakura Temple. It's way up in the mountains, and I bet it's nice and cold, just perfect for training. Now I definitely don't want to go. Why do I need to be dragged along to every one of your stupid little outings? I don't need this, Maya! I have to study law! Not worry about the spirits! That is literally your job! You know, I think I've heard of the temple before. It's a famous channeling dojo. It's hard for even real spirit mediums like us to make reservations up there. Reservations for a temple? Is that how that works? Don't worry, I've already made special reservations just for us. God, Pearl is just so much better than Maya. Jesus Christ. Anything that Maya can do, Pearl can do ten times better. And she's like five. Yeah, and I signed up for the special course. That's nice. And the timing couldn't be better. Since we don't have a case right now anyway, I guess we can just run around and do whatever we want. Who really cares? And surely nobody's going to die. Thank you, I need professional help for the, uh, 1,050 bits. That's a lot. Seriously, though, you guys are all fantastic, even if I make fun of you sometimes, especially Cade Lol. Well, I can attest to that. And it's been great being here for all of this heart. Well, thank you, I need professional help. We all like you, too, and it's great to have you, especially when you give me the money. Even if you make fun of me, that kind of makes up for it, so I don't mind as much, and I only cry a little bit. All right, it's settled. Well, come on. Don't just stand there. Start packing your stuff. Yeah, Mr. N I don't... Why? Why? Why do I have to go? You better start packing your stuff. What? Me? Why would I go? I'm not a fucking spirit medium, in case you forgot. Well, we have to be accompanied by someone over 20 years old. I'm the chaperone. Why? Hey, I don't have anything to do with spirit power. The only thing I can channel is a TV. Bum. Great pun, Nick. So anyway, I know that was really funny and all, but is there a heated pool at this Hakakure temple? No, but you can stand under a freezing waterfall. Yeah, I'm not going. I hate cold places and I don't like spirits either. I think what you do is uh, unnatural, unholy, and it goes against my religion, so I will not be accompanying you. What? No way! How can you be so selfish? Come on, Mr. Nick, look at this place. Doesn't it look beautiful? Nope, not going. I'm gonna be nice and toasty at home. What the? What is it, Mr. Nick? Let me see that magazine! Oh my god, here we go again. This nun? Is she a friend of yours or something, Nick? That girl, it's... Oh my goodness. My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. Remember me from that case and the other case also? I just want to say it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. This evil, evil woman. Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? You disgust me. God, if I had a nickel for every time a woman said that to me. But it can't be. 
She was found guilty and should be in prison. Yeah, what is going on there? I don't understand. Mr. Nick? I'll go. Yeah, I'll do it. A murder will be committed there. We can, I, I assure you. Hazakura Temple, eh? I said I'll go. Yay! Isn't that great, Pretzel? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. You'd do anything for Mystic Maya, right? Even walk over burning coals, right? I don't know. No, I would not do that. I value my feet more than her life. And a cult magazine featuring Hakakuga Temple. Dahlia Hawthorne. I knew there was no way she could possibly be at that temple, but I just had to see for myself who this nun really was. Is she going under another new name? Is she... She's just the master imposter. The ultimate imposter, some might call her. February 7th, 3.24 p.m. Hazakura Temple, main gate. You got the snowmobile and everything. Brr, it's cold, Nick. And yeah, maybe you should put on something warmer for a change. How about you cover yourself up a little bit before you walk out of the house looking like that? Well, it's supposed to be cold. It's training. Achoo! Her teeth are chattering so loudly. It's all I can... It's all I can do to make out what she's saying. Wow, Mystic Maya, this is the famous Hazakura Temple. P -p 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 pretzel I achoo! Don't sneeze on pretzel. Well, well, well. What the? Who the? Uh, how nice to see you here. Welcome to our temple. Oh, thank you, achoo! Oh my, my, my! Thank you for coming all this way. Come now, come now. You must have been cold. We're currently cold, in fact. Yes. What's with the? Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, I didn't know what you said because I cut you off too fast. But we are high up in the mountains after all, and it's usually cold up there. In any case, we shouldn't speak here. Let's go to where it's not as cold. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm the head nun here at the temple. My name is Bikini. It's fucking Bikini. That right there, that's Bikini. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Phoenix Wright. What's your name? Oh, you know, Bikini. That's what they call me. That's who I am. My parents, yes, they hated me before you ask. But, 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 but that doesn't make any sense. Why would your parents name you that? That's right, actually. That's my temple name. What do you think? Is that not like sacrilege? I feel like if I try to join a church or something and I call myself like Brother Speedo, I would probably get kicked out, right? It's tradition to have one, and I wanted something that has a nice image to it. Uh, so I thought, why not choose a bikini? Besides, it makes me seem younger. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It certainly does, maybe. Oh, I signed up for your special course. Well, my, my, my! Quite brave of you, considering how cold it is. Yo, Jan Johns, thank you very much for the tier one, Jan Johns. What the fuck? Half a year already? Thanks for all the streams, man. Well, thank you for the continued support, Jan Johns. I appreciate it. Also, hi, Hacker. How's it going? Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one of those you, you, you channel. Waha! Don't... I don't... Okay, that's weird to say. We're talking about death here. Come on now. It's kind of uh, evil. Was it her? Was she? Is she going to do the killing? I got my eye on Bikini. Not in that way, though. Re -re reckless Waha ha ha Maybe you should take it easy tonight, Mystic Maya. We can come back another day. But you went through all the trouble to get... Yes, 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 yes. That's right. You've come all this way, so please enjoy yourselves. There's still time before supper, so why don't you have a look around? Okay, that's what I do best. I look around. Channeling Dojo. Um, so what's a channeling dojo anyway? Oh, my, my, my! You don't even know that? Do I look like a spirit medium to you? Am I even a woman? Forgive him, sister, for he- Well, 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 just call me Bikini and forget that sister part. A channeling dojo is basically a spiritual power training ground. We have special holy items prepared here to help people boost their spiritual power. Holy items? Holy cow, that sounds awesome! If you train an entire evening surrounded by these items, ah, it's quite mysterious. The spiritual power of these items seems to envelop you. Ooh, <laughs> Wow, she must have just gotten off the trolley from the land of make-believe, if you know what I mean. Se Why do you say that, Phoenix? Why would you- Magic is real! You have witnessed magic time and time again firsthand. You are, like, friends with two magicians. You know it's real! Magic is real! Don't be hating, Phoenix! You must be incredibly devoted to be interested in that at such a young age. It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant a spell. 30,000 times, all while being showered in freezing cold spirit water? 
Does that really help? I don't know. I mean, you should know. Pre Pretzel probably knows. She seems way more knowledgeable about this stuff than you do, Maya. It's February now, right? You have time. You have to be careful this time of year because it's cold. If you don't watch it, you'll catch pneumonia or maybe even die. So be careful, you hear? Wow! How am I supposed to be careful? Jacket. Coat. Uh, leg warmers, you know, there's, there's options here to not die of hypothermia. It's pretty simple, in fact. Oh no, I knew I shouldn't have signed Mystic Maya up for this. She's too weak, unlike me, I'm much stronger. Uh, sister, I mean bikini, because you told me not to call you that. About this picture, couple of questions. Well, well, look at that, I must say. I look rather divine, don't you think? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Unforgettable in every way. You mean it? Oh, I knew it. Wow! The makeup was pretty tough. But Iris helped me out. Who the fuck is that? Iris? The cute little girl in the photo. She looks just like me, doesn't she? We're just a small temple here, so she and I run the entire play. Oh my god. It's time to commit a crime. Sorry to cut in, but this Iris, where is she right now? Oh, just listen to you. You haven't come all the way here just to find a girlfriend, have you? No, no, please, please, Pearl. I'm sorry. Don't do it, please. No, 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 no. That's not what I had in mind at all. Anyway, Iris is in the Inner Temple preparing for this evening. Inner Temple preparing for this evening? Yes, yes, that's right. Iris will be back this evening. Why don't you have a look around at the main hall for now? Wahahaha. So she's in the Inner Temple, huh? Well, I guess that's where I gotta go. But first of all, can I ride around this snowmobile? It looks kind of awesome. Look, it's one of those snow motorcycle things. Most people call that a snowmobile, you fucking country bumpkin. Snow motorcycle things, snow mobile. Donated one dollar. <laughs> Good luck with the best case, kid. Thank you if very you much. Play more Ace Attorney after trials and tribulations. There's Miles Edgeworth. Investigations that takes place after the third game with Edgeworth character development. I might play that. I don't know. I'm I'm definitely going to play the sequel trilogy at some point. <clears throat> uh, as for the Miles Edgeworth stuff, I'm giving that one a a maybe probably eventually at some point but maybe not out of 10 a snow blow meal same thing hmm too bad we didn't invite this desiree i bet she could race like the wind on this snow mo slow mobile whatever we're calling it or maybe she'd give me a ride on this blow snow wheel you're just not even trying at this point it's a snowmobile woman jesus can't go in that door look at the big gate what do you think, Nick? Pretty awesome gate, huh? I guess so. It looks like a pretty well-maintained gate to me. This thing kind of puts your hometown to shame, Maya. Yeah, we are kind of stupid. Well, a lot of things have happened in Karain Village. We used to be a lot richer back when people hired us to perform channelings. I see, but now the place looks a bit run down. Hmm, I guess I was just born in the wrong time. All right, let's go inside. That's not how you go inside. I gotta click the move button, don't I? That looks like the main hall where we'll be staying tonight. From here, it looks like one of those ice hotels you always hear about. They gotta have a heater or something in there, don't you think? I don't wanna die. I'm not worried. I brought my hot water bottle. Did you bring one for me? What are you talking about, Nick? Who carries around two hot water bottles? <laughs> if the cold doesn't kill me, the ice queen over here will finish the job. Look at that big bell. How is that big bell gonna play into this murder? I bet it's gonna be something really awesome. Oh look, it's a cute little bell tower. I absolutely love the sound of a giant bell. Okay, which one do you like better? That or the sound of money? What? Sorry, but I'll take money for the win, Nick. What are you apologizing for? I don't know. That was a weird exchange of, of words and, and ideas and thoughts. Main hall. Yo, we gotta go to the sus bridge. We were just, wait a hey, wait a minute. This looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Wow, look at this broken down old bridge, Nick. Yeah, and look at that big canyon below us. Hey, there's a river down there. It looks like it's flowing really fast. What's wrong, Nick? Did you have like a weird flashback about this or something last night? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm just not very good with heights. Despite being a bird, you know. Oh, hey, I've got it. Maybe you should face your fear and try hurling yourself off the edge. What the fuck, Maya? What? Okay, every time 
Maya tells me to literally jump off of a cliff, I'm gonna be drinking for that one. For sure. Almost certainly. Why would you... No. No. I don't think so. I'm not going to, and I don't want to. Why is she being so mean? What did I ever do to you? I am nothing but polite to this woman every single day. I feed her. I house her, presumably. Like, I, what more do you want? Now you're telling me to jump off of a cliff. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Maya. Okay. It hurts, you know. It hurts. It all builds up and it just, it, it gets to you. You know, one, two, three, jump. It might be just what you need to get over your fear of heights. Yeah, death is a real way, good way to overcome phobias, all right. Anyway, comma, it sure looks like a rickety bridge. Can't argue there. It, it is that thing that you said. That's probably why it's called Dusty Bridge. Read it again, dummy. It says Dummy Bridge. Well, it's practically the same thing. Maybe. Oh, this text does not look right. Why is it not angled, like, <laughs> with the rock? Was this, like, in English originally, or was this originally in Japanese, and they changed it, and that's why it looks weird? It, the, the perspective on the text just don't look right. It looks like it should be a little bit skewed, you know? Some letters are engraved into a roughly cut boulder. Dusty bridge, huh? It says dusky, dusky bridge, okay? What, can you not read? How embarrassing, how old are you? Come on, Nick, take a look at that bridge and tell me it's not supposed to be dusty. This sign is obviously wrong and I'm gonna fix it. Now give me a pencil, Nick. Do I look like a pencil holder to you? Obviously not. Look at phone. I can't believe there's a public phone here. Who would ever use it? The people who live here, maybe. I doubt they have any real phones here. Yeah, but it, it took like 20 minutes to walk here from the main hall. It would have been smarter of them to build the main hall here, don't you think? Maybe you should work on channeling someone who makes logical sense, Maya. Oh, Got him! Yeah, baby! Phoenix Wright claps back! That's what I'm after right there. I'm totally drinking for that one. That is that is a great Phoenix Wright joke. A great, a great Phoenix Wright, sassy Phoenix Wright moment. Sassy Wright, we call him. Cheers. And also jump off of a cliff, Maya. If you would kindly do so. Where's Pearl? Did I just, where, is she on the bus still? Is she okay? Did she like get lost in the snow? Is she lost in the fo- Oh, who cares? Come on, Nick. Why don't we hop across the bridge? It'll be fun. I'm not so sure. Remember how I'm a scared of heights? It looks like a bunny hopping across the bridge would destroy it. Okay, Nick, then let's try to find a cute fluffy little bunny and test your theory. That right there sums up the fundamental differences between sane and insane. I'm not sure which one Maya is, to be honest. There's an arrow path going off in a different direction than that of the main hall. The sign here is so old, the text seems to have vanished. The path leads to a wooden staircase that goes down to the bottom of the canyon. Okay, all right, wooden staircase on it. Do you really think that is necessary? You'd have to be blind not to see the stairs. Well, it can't hurt. Just pass me a pencil, okay? Graffiti is a crime, Maya! It's not Felony Friday. You cannot commit that felony. What is over here? It looks like it's about 20 yards to that cliff over there. I guess that's where I'll be training tonight. Do you want to train with me, Nick? And do the special course? Um, no. Just make sure to not die out there in the woods alone in the dark, okay? Thank you. But it'd be so great if you had spiritual powers, too. You're telling me! Yeah, no kidding. If I could just cheat and see dead people and talk to dead people, yeah, that would be nice. Really? I see dead people sounds more like a cause for alarm to me. Maya's life is an alarm. And I'm the cause. Let's get out of here. I've examined enough. Let's go to the main gate. That was fun. Now let's go to the main hall. Oh boy. February 7th. Hazakura Temple. This place is way nicer than Maya's house. The, the, the main hall, I think it's even cold, cold, colder in here. Achoo, stop sneezing on me. Ah, Mr. Nick, do you smell that? It smells like meat and gravy. 
Yeah, you're right. I guess it's pot roast for tonight. Yummy. Weird. I thought they would serve something a little more, well, traditional. What are you talking about, Nick? You think monks and nuns just sit around eating rice gruel all the time? Mystic Maya's right. Oh, I hope there's mashed potatoes, too. I love mashed potato. Ha, ha, ha. What a cute little acolyte. I think I know who that is. No. No, not the person I thought. What the fuck? She's a black mage. Look at her staff. Greetings to all of you. Oh, uh, hi. Wow, this lady makes Maya look like a 6.8 out of 10 on the weirdness scale. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, I have to blow my nose. Excuse me. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love those allergies. Oh, they're fun. And I like them, too. And it makes me happy. I have to uh, pour a little bit more water into my big orange cup also because I'm not using the Baby Yoda cup. So excuse me for that one. And then I'll take a drink because I owe a bunch of drinks right now. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. Cheers, everyone. If you have a drink, raise it and drink it. Come on, guys. Don't you hold out on me now. All together right now. Three, two, one. Gaming! <sighs> yeah, she do look like kind of a freak, though. And not in that way, but you know what I mean. Your outfit! Did you come here to the special course, too? Ha 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 ha! Unfortunately, no. Actually, I'm... Ah! Y -y 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 you're y you 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 You're Miss Elise... D Dunum? Donum? Do I don't know how to pronounce that. At least Dunum? I don't know. Ch Ch chat, help me. Yes, that's right. You know of me. M -m 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 mermaid. Ma my name is Pretzel. It's Denim Jeans. Donum. Donum? Donum. Got it. I'm your biggest fan. Who is she, Nick? How the hell should I know? Oh, I see it now. Zavari! Fuck! A fortune teller? I've got all your books, Mr. Donum. Ha 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 ha. What a sweet thing to say, and please call me Elise. Uh, that would be preferable, yes. Um, books? Mr. Nick, don't you know anything? Don't you even know who this is? No, why would I? How many times do I have to convey it to these people that I don't know about spirit mediums or anything about this world? I don't know, and God damn it, I have to, I can't believe it's case five, and I'm drinking for Zavari. Zavari! Whatever that means, it means drink! So let's do it. That's a certified Zavari moment right there. Whoa. Well, um, uh, an author maybe? Yeah, kind of, and an illustrator of picture books. Oh, that's why Pearl, like, loves her, because she does baby book. Picture books, huh? Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, can I see some of your words, you know? I don't know. Um, I'm sorry I didn't know who you are. I don't get a lot of chances to really enjoy picture books. Because I'm so busy practicing law, you know? Doing something that's important with my life. It's okay, I take no offense to that. My books are nothing but simple stories for children. And really beautiful pictures too, Miss Elise. Your books always make me feel as if my heart has been purified. Ha 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 ha, that's awesome. I'm not a murderer, by the way. Don't look into that. It makes me feel very happy to hear you say that. I do have to admit, she certainly seems like a kind, sensitive lady. Okay, Nick, buy her dinner first. Miss Elise won an award last year for her book, The Magic Bottle. Yes, a friend of mine secretly submitted a story I had written to a publisher. They liked it so much that they asked if it was all right to make it into a book. Wow, it must have been a really great story. Maybe I should try to write a children's book too. If I do, you can secretly send it to a publisher for me, Nick. I'm not going to do that, I'll just be honest with you right now. Recently, I've accepted a sort of apprentice, you might say. No, I know who that is, do not. Okay, never mind. He calls himself Laurice. Laurice Donum. So wait, is Donum like just a, a pseudonym? Like what's going on there? I believe he's off doing some landscape sketches now. On Laurice's behalf as well, I'd like to thank you for your support. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, why come here? Um, why did you come to here? 
Are you here to do some spiritual training? Ha 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 ha! Man, she loves to laugh. No, that's not it. I'm actually here to gather materials for a new book I'm working on. Wow, I hope it's a book about murder because that is what's happening on today. Pretzel is completely taken with her. I wanted to do a book with mo a more Japanese feel to it this time. So is that why you're dressed like you are? The children have a certain image of me in their mind. I don't want to disappoint them. What can I say? She's really a sweet lady. Totally not evil. Totally not an evil lady. There are zero red flags popping up right now about that lady, that sweet, kind, innocent lady. Wow, Miss Elise, you're dressed up like a mountain nun. Yes, very observant. The good people here were kind enough to let me borrow this. I'm wearing training clothes underneath a robe as well. I want staff like that. You like the crystal sphere? It's real emesis, you know. Does that enhance her magical powers if she has an amethyst gem? A jewel of some kind? A scepter? A catalyst for casting spells? Maybe we'll find one like that up here on this mountain. Good luck, Nick. I know you'll find... Fuck off, no. Well, you'll have to excuse me now. I have to go help with the dinner preparations. Wow, you mean you're cooking dinner tonight? Please don't poison it, please. That's right. Would you like to help too, Pretzel? Yes, 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 please. Pearls looks like she just won the lottery. Oh, I'll help too, I guess. No, actually, ha ha ha. That's totally okay. Let's not worry about you helping. Uh, feel free to relax and explore the area with your friend. Huh? But like, what? Are you doing something evil back there, maybe? I don't know. Oh, yes! Please take this. I think it will be of help to you. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! I'm freaking out! I can't do this again, man! I can't do it! At least they finally fixed the bridge. It's a map of the area. We wouldn't want you to get lost now, would we? The inner temple. There it is, on the other side of the bridge. It's, it's literally the sus bridge. Uh, well, if you insist, I guess I'll take this chance to check out the other temple. Wait, what is this? Uh, I ran into a Ouija plays in Final Fantasy XIV. Do you play the game, Cade? Uh, yeah, it was probably me. Was it a samurai row? Because that's that was me, like 100%. Or maybe I was an astrologer or a dragoon at the time. I don't know. Crystal Malboro, by the way. Please send me Gil. Well, if you insist, I guess we'll take this chance to go check out the other temple. Hazakura Temple map added to the court record. Shows Hazakura Temple and the surrounding area. Okay, I'll see you two later. Bye-bye. Remember, you're not allowed to fight. I didn't plan on it, but okay, thank you. Come on, Nick. Let's go and... Whoa. Let's go. At least we'll stay warm if we keep moving. Okay, I thought that was... Never mind. Um, I suppose I'll do a little bit of invest... Is this a fire? What is this? It's like an incense stick. Uh, there are straw Zabuton cushions arranged around a hibachi brazier. What the fuck is... What is a Zabuton... Is that a Zabuton cushion? A little... Is that the, the floor cushion that you sit on? I haven't seen a layout like this since I saw this really old Japanese movie on TV. If it wasn't for this hibachi, they'd probably freeze to death. Maybe. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, Japanifornia, by the way. It's an altar. It looks a bit old, but someone does a good job of taking care of it. Speaking of altars, I remember seeing one like this in Karain Village last year. I guess they really do have something to do with spiritual power after all. Uh, probably. They would know better than me. Look at this giant Magatama. There is a comically large Magatama on the altar. If I can see Cyclox with the, <laughs> the tiny Magatama I've got... I can only imagine what kind of power this bad boy has under the hood. This baby can fit so many Cyclops in it, you have no idea. I bet the writings on these sliding doors are instructions for spirit channelings. Kind of like how he scribbled math formulas on the bathroom walls to remember them. That's a, that's a normal thing that everyone does, right? You didn't do that? You never scribbled some math formulas on the bathroom wall so you could remember them? You're weird, chat. Ha, <laughs> you, you guys are just weird. What? Okay, well, now I have to read it. Hang on. A Zabuton, Japanese pronunciation, nope, is a Japanese cushion for sitting. The Zabuton is generally used when sitting on the floor and may also be used when sitting on a chair. In a more casual setting, the Zabuton can be used in conjunction, uh, conjunction rather, with a Zaisu, a type of Japanese legless chair, with or without an accomp- How the hell do you have a chair if it doesn't have any legs? That's just not a chair. That's not what we call that. Uh, with or without an accompanying 
uh, Kyosuku, a Japanese-style armrest. Ordinarily, any place in Japan where seating is on the floor will be provided with a Zabuton for sitting comfort. Well, there you go. I'm not sure if I'm being culturally insensitive by saying this, but I don't understand why, like, why not just buy a chair? Is that mean for me to say? Like, I, I, I genuinely don't know. I get, like, the culture and all that, but, like, personally, I just take a chair, really. Except we couldn't go to the bathroom during tests, and I can't read these walls. I know it's, like, a cultural thing, but yeah. Okay, let's see. It's a stack of straw Zabuton cushions. They're made of straw? That can't be super comfortable. Why not use, like, things that aren't straw? Maya told me this type of Zabuton is called Inza. I suppose if I'd never come here, I'd have missed out on all of these new things. So that's good. That makes me... Ha I'm, I'm culturally enriched right now. That's a huge plus. Is that all? How come some of them don't have any music? I really wish there was some music playing right now. It's so awkward. February 7th. Hello. Huh? Where did Sister Bikini go? We she explicitly said don't call her sister. Yo, failure. Thank you for the tier one gifted sub. To the ass sensei. Is that allowed? Are you allowed to call yourself that? I guess so. Congratulations, the ass sensei. I hope you don't get banned. I guess she went to the inner temple to go help the uh, that other nun out who totally isn't that evil lady. Oh, right. I think her name is Iris. Yeah, that was it. I want to find out who Iris really is, but I'm scared of what I'll find. What are we going to do? Okay, so Phoenix Wright shows up and we go find the girl and then what do we do about it? Do we chuck her ass into the Eagle River? Like, what is the plan here? I don't even know. Thank you for a series of tubes for the 100 biddies. Lumbers was not super common in the early days of Japan, so they didn't have much to make chairs with. That actually makes a lot of sense. That, yeah, okay, I can see that. And I guess it just stuck around. I mean, like, once culture sticks like that, it's just kind of how it be. Can I go across the bridge? Can you get over your fear of heights, Nick? Can you just, like, literally build a bridge and get over it? February 7th, Inner Temple Gate. Still February 7th, by the way. Whoa, that bridge was shaking like jello in an earthquake. <sighs> and at least half of the wood on that rickety bridge was rotting, I bet. <sighs> Not to mention the last part only had like one board left. <sighs> what's, what, what's wrong with you? You're, you look like you're scared of heights or something. Can you not pick on me for one fucking moment? I'm still trying to get over the fact that we made it over safely across that death trap. Okay, I guess I'm a bit surprised too. Hee hee hee. There it is. Yikes! That temple is in bad shape. It looks like it could collapse at any time. I guess people don't use it too often. I mean, you have to cross a death trap bridge to get here, so like, probably. Is this really where you're going to train tonight? That has to be it. It's kind of creepy around here. Like a ghost might jump out at you or something. A spirit medium afraid of ghosts? Isn't it ironic, don't you think? Maya, can we please just leave? I don't want to be here. I This girl is going to try to kill you, and then we're going to have to go to court and be like, this girl tried to kill my Maya, or maybe succeeded in killing my Maya. One can only hope, but it's just a lot more trouble than it's worth. We'll find you another waterfall. You can sit under that. You're going to do fine. Let's examine around a little bit. Here we go. So that's the inner temple up ahead, huh? It looks kind of run down. Well, it wouldn't be very temple-like if it was all bright and shiny. So you're training here tonight, eh? Yup, then everyone will see my spiritual powers. That sounds like your tummy wants to show off its digestive powers, if you know what I mean. I wonder if that roast is ready yet. I don't know, maybe. Look at this thing. What does it say? I can't read it, Maya. Can you? Looks like there's something written on it. I can't read it, Maya. Please. But if I had to take a good guess, I'd say it says Inner Temple, maybe, or something that's not that. I don't know. What's the point of a sign if you can't read it? It's like, language barrier? What do you want from me? What do you want me to say? Must be tough for the mailman when he's delivering here. I guess the sign is a good indication of how long this place has been here. Has it always been here? Was this here the whole time? During the six years ago case? The case of the the funny bridge? I didn't see it on the map. But I guess it wasn't shown. I mean, sure, it's it's definitely old. They didn't build this place in six years and then just abandon it. Hey, a half-open gate. That's practically a welcome mat. 
Yeah, except the sign on here says no entry. I can read this one for some reason. I don't know why, but there it is. Um, Nick, rules are made to be broken, you know. You're, you expect a lawyer to go along with that? I was, <laughs> I was so fucking close to saying almost exactly the same thing. Oh, come on. You're such an old lady sometimes. Let's just go. Don't blame it on me when Sister Bikini puts a curse on you. Now you got me scared. Um, let's just not do it, okay? Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't fuck with Sister Bikini. Nobody wants that. Is that all? Can we slide to the left? Yeah, we can. Check this thing out. I don't even know what it is. Hey, there's a giant robot buried in the snow. Is that an incinerator? Don't be a fucking incinerator, please! I am on my hands and knees begging right now. Do not be an incinerator. Well, there's something buried in the snow, but I think it- FUCK! Oh, hee hee hee! But you've got to admit, it kind of does look like a robot. Uh, yeah, sure. Anyway, I don't think it gets used much. It's looking pretty... I almost said sus. It's, it's, it's susty. Not rusty, but susty. It's a joke. Hey, Nick, do you think this giant robo cinerator can walk? It's what are you fucking talking about, you weirdo? And it's not especially big either. Bah, you have no imagination. I thought it'd be real neat if you were to... You had to beat it to advance? This ain't no game! A fight between a lawyer and an overgrown furnace? Who'd ever pay to see that? I mean me, but you know. <sighs> That's a drink for the incinerator. God damn, what, what is the deal? How many incinerators have you seen in your life, chat? How many? You know how many incinerators I have personally witnessed? Zero. Not a one. I've never seen an actual incinerator because you know why? They're not common. Why? I mean, I guess up here in the mountains for like where there's nothing for like miles and miles, it makes a lot of sense. But you know, it's, it's just, it's just a lot. In fact, if there were a place to have an incinerator, this place would make like the most sense. Like, what are you going to put out the garbage for the garbage truck? I don't think so. You think a garbage truck can drive over that rickety old dusty bridge? I don't think so. It's just going to, it's just going to fall through. It's just, it's too heavy. It's just going to break actually oh boy as phoenix wright would say oh boy oh wow look at these neat buddha statues maybe i'll take one home with me maya what the hell is maya's problem we have got to get her into like counseling or something she is like She's got this, like, crime spree just brewing inside of her. What the fuck? I'm just gonna steal this priceless artifact from the temple. Tee hee hee. No, you can't do that. Thank you, a series of troops for the hundred biddies. Phoenix versus Incineroar. Phoenix concern for Smash. I hope he is in Smash. I swear to God, and you can quote me on this one, if Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, is in Smash Bros. or announced for Smash Bros., I'm going to play him. I'm going to buy him and I'm going to play him and I'll stream it too. And we can make all sorts of funny jokes like, ah, oh, objection. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to do a side smash and I'll be like, objection. It'll be, it'll be so funny when that happens. Are you shitting me? Of course they'll notice. What are you going to do with one of those anyway? Put it in the office. We can trade that wooden statue in the office reception area for these. You know, come to think of it, where did that wooden statue come from anyway? That wooden statue? What's that wooden statue? I don't remember. What is the wooden statue being referred to here? I, I feel like I should probably know, but I don't know. I don't care how much you pay me. I don't want to cross that bridge again. Except I need to get back. No worries, Nick. No one is offering you any money. That's because no reasonable person would call that pile of popsicle sticks a bridge. The latter half of it was nothing more than a few planks of wood and some string. Hey, if we want to get back, we've got no choice but to cross it again, you know. <sighs> Damn it, I hate it when Maya's right. Maybe I'll just stay. I've always dreamed of living in a little shack in the woods. Wow, you really are scared, aren't you? Yes, Maya. Yes, I am. Uh, it looks like this bridge is suspended by four of these wires. They're really thin. Shouldn't they be just a little bit thicker? Oh, stop it. You're such a worrywart, Nick. If the bridge were really going to collapse, I'm pretty sure the boards would break before these wires ever did. What's wrong? You're turning into an overripe avocado again. I don't like it when you say these words to me, Maya. It makes me sad. Please stop it. 
Uh, let's move. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What? You are not training here. Okay. Pack your bags, Maya. We're going the fuck home. Absolutely not. Uh-uh. No way. No how. You are not staying here for the night. No way. Definitely not happening. Man, look at this place. It's just a tiny freezing cold room with a fucking dungeon. You were, you're not staying in the dungeon, Maya! I forbid it! You need someone who's 20 years old or older to stay with you? It's not happening! I'm going home, which means you have to go home! So this is where you'll both be training tonight, huh? What? What do you mean, both? I'm the only one. Wait, really? Well, what about Pearl? Pretzel's just a little kid. She couldn't handle this kind of intense training. Besides, she's, like, way stronger than me anyway, as is, so, like, she doesn't need it, you know? So says the girl who I can barely hear over her teeth chattering. Anyway, the real training room must be behind that door over there. This is such a bad idea. Dude, why are we doing this? Oh my god. This is like I'm, I'm watching a horror movie right now. And the idiot teenage kids say, let's go into the deep dark basement. I bet that's going to have clues about what we should do next. It's No, just don't do it. Uh, don't, I'm, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna be that guy that yells in the movie theater. Don't go in there. Oh, you better not go in there. Don't do it. Don't go in there. Yep, definitely getting the feeling it's back there. Even I can sense that there's something supernatural about the cavern behind that door. Um. <laughs> hello, big. You're that bitch. Wait a minute. No, not hello. Excuse me, but who are you? You. Who am I? Who the fuck do you think you are? You're! Hi there! We're just looking around since we're going to be staying here tonight. Yeah, you better dot 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 me. Prepare to get locked in a dungeon. Is something wrong? Many things. Uh, n no, it's, it's nothing. I wonder why she spaced out like that. Don't you, Nick? Nope. Did you say something, Maya? N not to you, Nick. Yeah, that's what I thought. She jelly. Oh, she jelly and she knows it. M my name is Iris, I've decided. I'm one of the nuns here at this temple. I'm Maya Fey. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Oh, uh, please excuse me. I have some uh, chores to attend to. <laughs> did she collapse or did she close the door? She really is sexy and a bit spacey, I guess. I guess she's just not used to talking with urban sophisticates like us. Nick? That fucking woman. It cannot be, but it is. Well, Nick, are you okay? Okay. Examine the dungeon. Let's see this a little bit. Thank you, a series of tubes for the hundred bits. Did I say there was a petting zoo in there? No, I said ghosts. Is that a reference? I don't know. But thank you for the money, though. Thank you. The actual training area must be on the other side of this door. I wonder what it's like. Probably scary as shit. Fooey, it's locked. Come on, Nick. You know you want to open it for me. What the hell do you want me to do? Bend the iron bars so you can crawl through? I can't. I, I can't. What do you want me to say? You're, you've been in kind of a bad mood lately, haven't you, Nick? Zavari! I, I know what it is. Iris! No. First of all, don't say that word ever again, even though I said it earlier today, but... Ha 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 ha! Iris and Nick sitting in a tree! K-I-S-S-I-N-G! Please never let Pearl hear you singing that, please. I, I don't... I don't need more bruises, please. There's a bunch of musty-looking blankets and... I thought it said bleeding. Bedding sets piled up here. I wonder why they're even here in the first place. Hmm... It's because all spiritual training is done under the supervision of a nun. I wonder if Sister Bikini is planning to sleep in here while I train. But if they sleep, what's the point of having them in there in the first place? That just doesn't make much sense. I do have to drink for Zavari, and I will. Okay? Okay? And yeah, is this canon that, like, Maya isn't into us like that? I mean, Pearl thinks so. But... If she, I mean, maybe, you know, me, maybe me and Iris, maybe I can fix her. I haven't really taken into account the fact that maybe I can fix Iris. And that'll, that'll be fine. I'm gonna say it. 
Nick and Maya don't belong together. This is like big sister, little sister energy. I don't, I don't like it. I've never been a fan of it. Of course, the obvious answer is Phoenix and Miles, but you know, aside from that, it's it, these two. I don't like it. I just don't like it, and I don't want it. It's weird to me. It, the it, the energy it does not it's it does it does not connect. Sometimes it connects, but this time it does not connect. And we better get that kiss with my boy Edgeworth by the end of this, or I swear to God, I'm going to be so mad. I'm not even joking. Ban Ouija the God. Are you kidding me? Are you a Phoenix Maya shipper, Adriana? It's not. No, I don't. I don't. It's not right. It's just, it don't, it's, it don't add up. It does not connect. It don't. Look at this antique dresser. I wonder if there's anything valuable inside. Let's have a look. Okay. What's inside? Mm, nothing. Just a bunch of clothes. Hey, Nick. What? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just uh, thinking. Oh, about Iris, I bet. Looks like you've been bitten by the love bug, Nick. Especially after this is going on. <laughs> I mean, what more signs do you need that they don't belong together than her, like, basically actively encouraging me to pursue that woman? A hanging scroll. And oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Why did you do that? This scroll. It, it's my mom. Oh, my God. That's your mom. What? She's hot. I go after her. It's Misty Faye, the master of Kurain School of Channeling. Are you sure? Yeah. The crest at the top of the scroll, that's the special mark of the master of our tradition. So that's what the mark means. That's what the point of the mark is. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. Shut up, chat. Calm down. What is it? Nothing. It's just that I last saw her over 15 years ago. Okay, well, maybe... Ah, you might be right then, chat. 15 years is a long time, you know. If it wasn't for that crest, I wouldn't have even known it was her. My own mommy. And I can't even recognize her face. Maya, you are so ugly when you cry. Please stop. I feel very uncomfortable. Hanging scroll added to the thing. Shows Misty Fame, master of the Korean technique. Great. Touch it again? Why would I touch it again? It's a hanging wall scroll showing Maya's mom. Misty. It's not that old. That crest at the top is the thing of the woman. Uh, I wonder if this temple has some sort of connection to the Fae family. I think it does, actually. Supposedly, it was founded by a branch family member of the Kurain School. I'll have to ask Bikini in more detail when I get the chance. We'll see about that. About Maya and the Fae family in general. Damn it, no. Okay. Um, done. I think we're done here. Let's leave. And not come back to... Where's next? Next is back to the other side of the suspension bridge. There we go. Hello. Woo, we managed to make it across Dusty Bridge. Nick, you look green. Are you feeling all right? I'm not in the mood. You need to shut the hell up, Maya. Hey, what's wrong with you? Ever since we met Sister Iris at the training hall, you've been really sus. Huh? Oh, sorry. Hey, you! Wait up! Who the hell? You think he's yelling at us? Uh, probably. He probably is. There's no one else around here. Would you mind moving? You're standing right in my way, says somebody. Oh my god! What in the fuck are you doing here, Larry? Larice? Larry Larice? Oh, what? Hey, I know you. You're... Whoa, sorry, gotta run. See, what, uh, what? Hey, wait a minute. Oh, thank you for actually, I, I could have sworn that he wasn't going to sit around and wait for me. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. I, I'm Larice Doom. Bro, bro, <laughs> bro, hello. Lie, fuck off, <laughs> Larry. Your clothes may change, but you're still the butt. Shut up. I'm, I'm Larice. And I'm just here to do a sketch of Dusky Bridge! So it really is our Larry. Not that I get why he's pretending to be someone else. Why are you pretending to be someone else? Also, hi, Smith. How's it going, Smith? Larice Doman. Doman? That's hard to say. It's impossible to say. This is such a banger. This track right here, 10 out of 10. 
10 out of goddamn 10. This is like peak Ace Attorney soundtrack right here. This one. How does this game have such good music? Like across the board, it's all so good. It's crazy. They never miss. Name one bad Ace Attorney track you can't. You can't do it. And don't you dare say Blue Badger, because that's actually the best one of all time. It's not possible. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Thunder Scott, my boy? How's it going? Circus theme is not bad. How dare you? It is great and it is good. And I like it. So, hey, Larry. What are you doing with the last name Donum? Well, I, uh, I just, uh, I wanted to start over again with a clean slate. A clean slate? You remember, don't you, last time? I sure do. The mask to mask case. How could I forget? After that, I started to realize I don't like this guy known as Larry Butts. And that's when I came across it. The Book of Destiny. The what? The what? Do you mean? The magic bottle. The children book? You, you read the children's book and you changed your entire life? It's so beautiful, so moving, so gentle. My heart felt cleansed, I was saved. Maybe I should buy a copy of the magic bottle, Jesus. Wow, Larry would make a great book salesman. I really want to get that book too now. Maybe. Tell me about Ali Doman. Did she kill someone? She killed someone, right? Or she's about to. She's the most wonderful person I've ever met. I'd follow her anywhere. Well, she certainly is a very elegant lady. You see, you see? Here's a photo I took of her in secret. Why would you say that? Wow, that's weird that you would take a photo of a lady in secret, but okay. It's even more weird that you would like, that she, she I mean, she's looking into the camera. Is it a secret? We don't know. Uh, you want a copy, don't you? It's okay, I just happen to have an extra. Sweet, thank you. I'm sure this will come in handy later. Picture books? Still, it's kind of hard to imagine you as a picture book illustrator. So tell the truth, you must have some kind of alter- You wanna fuck the lady? You wanna- you wanna- I mean, we- like, come on. What are you talking about? I don't- I don't trust anyone anymore, especially not women! Holy mo- that's sad. <laughs> this is- Oh no, talk about a bad case of denial. What? Adriana? What have you said to me? Do you think Elise is hot? Would you? Do you think- Yeah, no, I- no, I saw it. Don't worry, I saw it. No. Uh, and- and no further questions, please. Talk about a bad case of denial. Anyway, uh, can you even draw well enough to make a picture book? Art isn't only about technical skill, you know. It's about having a pure heart. And that's why I'm asking, can you draw well enough to make a whole book? Hmm... Uh, now that you mention it, I don't know. It looks like you still have some doubt in your heart. It's true, I do. But when I first saw her, I felt it. Something inside me ended, and something else began. Oh, Larry, it sounds like you're in love with Elie Doman. No! Actually, it's not her, it's the other girl. Oh, the other- oh, okay. Okay, we just wanted to know. Smile. Well, now you know. Other- Ah. Uh, oh, God, I've got such a bad feeling about this. It's not bikini, is it? Please tell me it's not bikini. <laughs> please, no. Please, please, no. However, you... And, uh, my ex would probably make a great couple. Probably. Based on your, uh, personalities, I think you two would gel super well together. Where's the thinker right now, chat? I'm serious, where is it? Literally, where is the thinker? I, I, I don't know what happened to it. Is it in my office? I don't know. Do the cops have it? I don't know. I'm unsure. It's in custody? That's so sad. That's so sad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Present. Did you know that I'm a lawyer, by the way? Hey, I know I may not look like it, but I'm an artist. I refuse to look at anything that doesn't have a radiant or beautiful motif. Picky, picky, aren't you? 
Fuck you too, Larry. See you later. Uh, enjoy getting murdered by that girl. I should probably present that thing to him, shouldn't I, though? Uh, that's the one. Iris 25. A nun at Hazakura Temple. She reminds me so much of that horrible, evil woman. I should probably present it to him, though. Shouldn't I? Oh, yeah! My little Iris. She's really pretty. This girl, she's perfect. She's exactly my type. I wonder if she would model for me. I want to draw a portrait of her. <laughs> yeah, you always like those model types, don't you, Larry? And that's always ended up so well for you. Hey, wait a second. Didn't you say you were swearing off women? What? Huh? Uh, yeah, that's right. Of course I have. I have, basically, but... But? But? Iris is different. I feel like... I feel like I still have one chance left at the dream. This guy will never, ever change. We knew that. Thank you, uh, Purple Splayed for the 100 bits. Show him bikini. I'll do that. Everyone! I'm Pearl. Hello. She ran 20 minutes to come tell me this. Hey, Pretzel! Dinner preparations are complete. Please come quickly to the main hall. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to dig in, Pearl. I'm going to get the inner temple and call Sister Iris. I also want to have a look at where Mystic Maya is going to be trained. She... Okay, so in the last game, Maya gets kidnapped. In this game, Pretzel gets kidnapped. I see it now. I see it. Bye. Goodbye forever. We'll never see you again. She got locked in a dungeon! February 7th. Well, I can't show her... Uh, I can't show Larry Miss, uh, Miss Bikini's profile at this point. February 7th, 7.46 p.m. Hazakura Temple Main Hall. Yo, I'm hung. It's 7.46. Where's my dinner? Boy, am I stu- Oh, right there. It's in my tummy. Are you sure it's alright to eat that much before your training? Well, it's kind of training of a- This kind of training is a battle of endurance. Mystic Maya, please don't do anything that might put your health at risk. Ha 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 ha. No pain, no gain. <laughs> I'm so worried about you. Well, well, well. Let's not dal dilly dally, shilly shally. You must get ready for tonight. Good luck, Maya. Don't die, Maya. Do not get murdered, Maya. Okay, here I go. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. I'll, to I'll totally see you tomorrow, by the way. Iris, please ring the bell at 10 for lights out, all right? Okay, bikini. And then, after you ring the bell, I want you to come join us. No! No! This is not going to end well. Okay, sister bikini. Bye. Maya and Bikini really seem to be excited about the training thing tonight. I'm not. I think it's going to end poorly. Well, Pearl, what are you going to do tonight? Well, I don't know. I was just kind of like dragged along. If you'd like, you can come to my room. No. Uh, Ma'am, thank you for the offer, but no, that's okay. Perhaps we can read some books? No, uh, seriously, I insist. No, like, she's she's fine. Okay. Really? I'd love... Oh, uh, okay. No, 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 no. Actually, it's okay. I, um, uh, I'm not very good at reading, though, because I'm <laughs> on account of being, like, five. Ha, 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 ha. Well, then, would you like to practice reading with me? No, 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 no. I... Okay, fuck it. I have no... I... This is not my responsibility. I have no responsibility for what is happening. Pearls is absolutely smitten with Miss Donum. Good luck. So, Larry, what are you gonna do? Uh, me? Uh, well, uh, I'm just gonna hang out in my room. I can't stand the cold. I totally hear you there. I guess we'll bro down, I suppose. Um, uh, Miss Elise, so, for example, how do you read this? It says, gravely. That's sort of, this is a tough word. Oh, okay, and what about this word? That's another tough one. It says, roast. What kind of book is she reading anyway? Gravely roast? There's some evil shit going on. I don't want this evil woman filling my pretzel's head with all these evil roasting thoughts. Well, I'm going to go wash the dishes and help clean up. I'll go visit you when I'm done, Miss Elise. Okay, bye. Well, not much to do except head to my room and huddle under the covers, I guess. I'm not even going to hang out with Larry. Come on, man. We we barely see each other. We're not even chilling. That's so sad. 
let's get ready for today. It's February 7th, 9, 12 p Oh, wait, no, it's still nighttime. It's like two hours later. Oh, <laughs> it's a whole different type of cold up here in the mountains. Oh, my God. Why couldn't the nearest bathroom be just a little closer to my room? <gasps> Mr. Wright. Yeah! Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, hello. I mean, oh, ah, uh, Miss Donum. Are you going to use the bathroom, too? Um, no, but have you seen... Have you seen Pearl? No, Miss Donum, I haven't. Have you seen Pearl because she was supposed to be with you? No, not since after dinner and you took her into your custody. I thought she said she was going to go to your room. I know, but she never... Sh oh, shit. Oh, boy, here we go. I'm going to go look for her. Excuse me. Miss Elise Donum, a woman as mysterious in origin as her last name. But the really mysterious one is... You! Ah! Sister Iris! Good evening. The really mysterious one is this girl. Um, are you on your way to the bathroom too, Mr. Wright? <sighs> I can't let this chance pass by me. No, we can't. Just talk to her. It's called open communication, Nick. Try it sometime. I should try to talk with her and maybe get some answers. Yeah, you should. Oh, she's hot, though. I'd kiss her. Talk, Iris. Um, your sister Iris, right? Yeah. So, when did you come to Hakakura Temple? Hmm, I don't remember. Ever since I was a small child, the temple has been my home? Oh my goodness, we know- No, that's wrong! So you've never left? Well, I don't have any family left to take care of me. That is such a- I hate this woman. I hate the- I'm, I'm throwing her straight off the bridge, I swear to god. That's canny! Thank you for the tier one sub, that's canny. Thank you. Sister Bikini, I've come to think of her as my real mom, as it were. Ah, okay. But you, didn't you go to college? Didn't we, like, fuck a bunch of times? And maybe fuck me a bunch of times? No, I never had an interest in going to a big university like that. My training is all the education I need. Ha ha ha. I, okay. But, once in a while, when I get the chance, I make a trip to the nearby town. I can use a computer and a cell phone. That's not exactly something worth bragging about. But I don't see any, any Cyclops. So I guess that means she's not lying? Why are you blushing at me like that? Please don't stare at me like that. Okay, well, okay. Let's chill out a little bit. What kind of place is this, anyway? I heard it's for training to increase your spiritual power or something like that. It must seem awfully crazy to normal people. Well, I do take my normal pills. I have to admit, it is a whole different world up here. I am glad to hear you say that. What? Talking with dead people? Who does it help anyway? I hate it. Really? Do you want to, like, go away with me and get married and we can be in love forever? I mean, so then why would you stay up in a place like this? Ah! Uh, is something wrong? I didn't realize it was so late. I have to go and ring the bell for lights out. I guess it's almost 10 now, huh? Um, Mr. Wright? Yeah? If it's all right with you, I would like you to have this. It smells of my hair. Enjoy it, please. But this is your hood. It smells of your hair. I don't want this. It has the power to smell of my hair and to protect you from evil spirits, by the way. You know, come to think of it, Sister Bikini was wearing one of these, too. Shouldn't we all just, like, get one of these when we enter the premises? Then, uh, like, I don't want to get fucked with by some spirits. I bet this is a very spiritual hot spot. So, yeah, Sauce, thank you for the, uh, tier one. Thank you. Eleven, Pog, I won't be here for long, but I hope you enjoy this case, Cade. Have a wonderful stream. Well, thank you very much. I will do my best to enjoy it. I pray for your safety on this dark, cold night. Iris's hood received from Iris, a magical hood said to offer protection from evil spirits. I'm sorry, but I must bid you good night. Okay, bye. Wait a minute, Sister Iris. Yeah? Uh, she actually came back. I can't believe it. Just now, you called me by my name. You said Mr. Wright? Oh, I caught you, bitch. A series of tubes. Thank you for the 100 bits. Choo-choo. Oh, hype train number two? Let's do it. I still owe a couple of drinks, but here it comes. How did you know my name? I never introduced myself to you. 
da, 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 da. Sister Iris, please. I mean, like, we fucked all those times. You and I, we, have we, did, did we? And there it is. Boom, 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 boom. Lock it up. Lock it up. Holy shit, that's a lot. Iris. Oh, it's almost 10. I, I, I need to leave. Okay, bye. Tomorrow, bye. See ya, bye. That's a lot of Cyclops. I don't know. Gong, gong, gong. That's a, that's a triple gonger right there. So my hunch was correct. She does know me. Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's like a weird twin sister. Whoa! Whoa! Failure with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, Failure. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll have to try to talk with her again tomorrow. A lot of silence there. Zap! Oh! What the? That blood-curdling scream came from the courtyard! I hope no one's dead. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, man. That's a couple of drinks, okay? Now that I have the music to back it up, I'll do a couple of drinks right now. We're almost to a level 5 hype train, which is two more drinks. We're almost there. This is it! This is it! Something important just happened, and that's totally not Maya lying dead in the snow right now. Stabbed to death by the golden statue that was at the place at that time. Remember the golden statue at that place at that time with the sword that has a bend in it because it was smacked over the head of not mask to mask, but it kind of was? Oh, am I about to cry? Am I about to get sad? Is Maya dead right now? Just keep watching. I have to take these drinks, okay? Listen. Maya's not going to die. My, that is not Maya, and Maya is not dead. It's that obvious. Maya would never die. You think they're killing off Maya? There's no way. That's my girl. She's training in, like, an ancient dungeon right now. You think she's in any sort of peril? There's no way. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay, okay. February 7th, 11.06 p.m. Hazakura Temple. That screech, I'm sure it came from around here. Ah! Someone's dead on the ground. Hello? Who's that girl? Miss Dino! Squeesh. <laughs> I just stepped on something soft. Hey, don't step on my tummy like that. Whoa, what the fuck are you doing lying there in the snow? I was passed out. What do you think? So that blood curdling. Forget about that. Hurry up and call the police. Is there even a phone in the main hall? No, but we still get reception up here in the mountain. You must have a cell phone. Uh, <laughs> I didn't bring it. Oh, you're useless. I mean, even Iris has a cell phone. We've got no choice. You'll have to use the public phone at Dusky Bridge. Or we can just wait. Okay, hold on. Before we do that, can we not just wake up Iris and call her, call the cops on her cell phone? Maybe? Perhaps? Hurry, hurry! No, you have to leave! You have to walk away from the scene of the crime! You have to! Okay, I guess. Goodbye. If you don't hurry, Iris is... Iris is... I February 7th, 11.18pm, Dusky Bridge. <gasps> it's farther than I thought! The bridge is just up ahead. I have to go tell Maya what happened, too. I hope she's not dead. Ah! What the fuck?! Dusky Bridge! It's burning down! <laughs> what are you doing here? What the fuck? Did, what is happening? Huh? What is it? Is, is it me? No, it's the fucking bridge! It's on fire! My name isn't Larry, it's Loris! I don't care, Loris! Call the fucking cops! Don't be stupid! The bridge is nothing but a burning wreck right now! I don't give a shit! There's been a murder here at Hazakure Village! What?! The murderer might have fled across... Murderer might have fled across the bridge, is what I'm trying to say. I have to make sure Maya's safe. But, 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 but I'm scared. Please call the cops. I've got to go. Goodbye. No, Nick, it's dangerous. I must have been crazy. I knew how dangerous it was, but still I went for it. Crack. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I should have listened to Larry Butts. 
Weakened even more by the fire, the rickety old bridge's plank snapped and gave way. And as I was swallowed by the eternal darkness that surrounded... Phoenix Wright dies?! A final terrified scream rose up to pierce the frozen air of that harrowing night to be continued. I told them so many times that we should have gone home. Yeah, I'll save. Fine. I've saved the game. There it is. Date. Who knows? Time. Who cares? Location. Doesn't matter. Ring, ring. Who could that be at a time of th at this time of night? Hello? Yeah? <gasps> Edgeworth speaking. Edgy, get up! It's an emergency! What? Larry? Uh, do you know what time it is? It's not Larry anymore! It's Larice! Larice Dunham! This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and... Wait! Don't hang up! It's an emergency! It's Nick! He's dead! He took a really nasty spill, I mean... Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so I don't care. Whoa! I'm not joking! He's dying! What? What happened? Tell me! Talk about a guy with a bad luck, haha. <laughs> he may already be dead. Anyway. <laughs> Your lover might be dead. Anyway. You've got to come back! You're the only one that can help him! My Iris, my beautiful Iris, she needs help! Okay, fine. I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm at the detention center. Please hurry! It's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion, as if I expected anything to change. Call the cops, Larry, you fucking idiot! February 8th, 2.19pm, Detention Center Visitor's Room. You're late, Edgy! What took you so long? I don't want to hear it. I chartered a private- I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster one. Anyway, just listen. Something happened to Miss Elise and Nick is Maya in the iris. Huh? Say something, Edgy! Before I came here, I stopped by the hospital and paid right to visit. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. Do we? The murder victim was the picture book author, Miss Elise Dolman. Okay, that was Elise. Got it. She was found by Wright and the head nun. The suspect is the Temple's younger nun. Okay. Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. The hospital says that he'll need at least two days of bed rest. Yeah, that's right. You've got it. But they arrested her, my sweet little Iris. And here I was, convinced he was the one the police had arrested. However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. What are you talking about? They're the things that Wright gave to me when I was leaving his room. What? Oh, you're gonna need that one. That one's kind of important. Yeah, he said some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this. And the other... Oh, he couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is, could he? Oh, shit. I think it's time for Mr. Edgeworth to become a defense attorney. It's time right now. Here we go. I'm begging you. Iris' trial starts tomorrow with Nick out of the picture. You're all I've got. You're the only one that can represent her. I don't want to. She's evil. I mean, what did you just say? You know, represent, defend. I can't. I, I literally don't have a license. I was out of the country for a year. I'm not trained to be a defense attorney. I'm afraid you're going to have to ask somebody else, Larry Butts. But I have to leave again to go back to the country that I went to. Uh, what were you expecting? Why do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor? Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... I don't care! I don't fucking care! Just do it, please! Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. I don't... I don't think the state's going to be okay with that, Larry! I mean, I heard a paper badge had no problem fooling an entire court before. True... True, true, true. How could this country's judicial system have fallen into such decay? Please, Edgy, at least listen to her. Listen, please. So Wright wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. <sighs> Hi. 
thank you for coming. My name is Iris, I have decided. Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth. I don't know if I can be of any help because this is not my job, but I will at least hear what you have to say about the murder. Um. What? Mr. Wright, yeah, is he okay? Mr. Laurie said that he, that he might even die. Well, he did run across a burning bridge. He was kind of stupid in doing that. Fortunately, he will be fine. Larry, you fucking idiot. How could you say something like that? He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he is unharmed. Okay. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? That's not good. He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. That's bad. I must be imagining things. This woman, I feel like I've met her before. Why does she look so familiar? Hmm. I am not Phoenix Wright, age 26. My friend since grade school fell from Dusky Bridge and is currently hospitalized. Dick Gumshoe, 32. Homicide detective at the local precinct in charge of the initial investigation. Larry Butts, 25. My friend since grade school. I don't remember how we became friends, though. Elise Dunham. She was old, maybe, I don't know. The victim of this incident, a picture book offer of unknown age, Larry's teacher. Iris, age 25, the defendant, a nun from Hazakura Temple. I know I've seen her somewhere before, but where? Let's find out right now, Iris. Pardon me, Iris, I would like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have, to dis I have the distinct feeling you and I have met before. No. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. Hazakura Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual what now? Did you go to that temple for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual powers. I don't need them. Don't you though? In that case, what are you doing at this temple? I've committed some sins, sins that I need to pay for. That's why I'm there and why I continue to train to purify my soul. Okay. I want to ask you about that night, the night of the crime. Okay. I helped to clean up after dinner and then went back to my room at about eight. Later, I left my room to ring the lights out bell at 10, no. Well, that's a lie, you didn't go at 10. You went to ring the bell at 10, but you didn't leave at 10, so could you be more specific? When specifically did you leave the room, is what I'm trying to say. We ring it at the same time each night. Okay, and then? And then? What? I was told to go to the training hall, but I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? I was scared. What? So I just stayed in my room until, and I meditated until the murder happened. There's more to her story, I just know there is. Maybe I should dig a little deeper. Okay, I'll, I will. You were asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder? Yeah. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? <laughs> oh, here it comes. There it is. Only two this time, that's not that- WHAT IN THE FUCK?! Um, is there something wrong? I I'm sorry, no, it's- yeah, I'm, I'm freaking out right now, is this real life? Are spirits real? Were spirits real this entire time and I didn't know? It looks like she's not aware of them herself. These must be what Wright was talking about, the Cyclops! I believe he said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. Gee, I don't know. I'll try. So, do you have any idea as to what really occurred that night? Maybe. I don't know. It was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. What? Yeah, spiritual training has been caused behind many great tragedies. A lot of tragedies. There's so much tragedy behind all of this. And also incidents as well. This incident was just another tragedy. Iris, I'm sorry, but I I don't I don't know anything about what you're talking about. 
I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. Yeah, I get that. Most people don't. And I am certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please, oh, so please answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Dumont? No, I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. Those cyclone things aren't appearing. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. Uh, wh what's wrong? I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. Hmm. It appears that's about all you can tell me. Thank you. Bye-bye. I visited Wright at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. What? Yes, he is quite the simp, I know. At the trial tomorrow, he asked me to defend you. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. If Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgy, then I will gladly entrust my fate to your capable hands. But before that, I have one question for you. What? Do you know Wright? What? Why would you ask? Whenever you came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little bit sus. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, what is Mr. Wright to you? He is a very dear and indispensable... Friend. Yes, a friend. It was five years ago. That's when I... That's when I deceived him! You deceived him?! I heard that he was in a lot of pain afterwards because of what happened. I know that a weak person I- I know what a weak person I am. That's why- that's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. Thank you, Failure, for the Tier 1 gifted sub. Thank you, Failure, thank you. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him! Tell him the truth! Why aren't you in jail? More like, why is Iris not in jail? I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. Okay, Mr. Edgeworth, I promise. Very well, I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal, I guess. It's not my job, but I'll do my best. Here we go. That's enough information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. Okay, bye. I, I should head to the... There it is. Oh my god, this place was so on fire. Dusky Bridge. It sure is cold, all right. So this is it. Dusky Bridge. Oh, wow, it's you, Mr. Edgeworth. Hey, it's Dick Gumshoe! Yeah. Detective Gumshoe! Long time no see! It's been about a year? Or has it been longer? It doesn't matter, Detective. What does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, ouch, and there's that sharp left jab. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth. Let me guess, you were transferred to HR by the local precinct? A wise decision. The vast amount of nothing up here should be quite easy to guard. I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. Everybody has real... Everybody was real nice. They even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. Gumshoe indeed. Like gum on your shoe, he's impossible to get rid of! That is a sassy, sassy moment by Mr. Edgeworth. I'll take a drink for that. Every time he's super sassy, Toad gets own day. Oh, what is going on now? Also known as Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Day or Get Fuck Day is a Japanese national holiday. Usually celebrated on the fourth Saturday in August, the purpose of the holiday is to give thanks to right crossing a burning bridge and to consider the importance of Miles Edgeworth to Toad the Builder as a twitch.tv slash Ouija the God subscriber. Yeah, I vouch for that one. He's important to me. So is Toad. But, you know, Toad ain't no Edgeworth. Nobody's an Edgeworth, though, for being honest. Come on. I have to pour the drink. Here's, here's the drink, everyone. I have to pour more water into the big orange cup. Let us take the drink together. Alrighty. I love this game. I love playing as Edgeworth. I don't want to be Edgeworth. I want to be Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright's my favorite guy, and if I can't play as him, 
Honestly, I just want to stop the stream. Why am I even playing the damn game? No, I'm lying, guys. It's good. I like playing as this funny guy. But he's dying in a hospital. So what can you do? It can't be helped. Sometimes you run across a burning bridge and then fall into a, uh, like, like rank five whitewater rapids water. And you have to go to a hospital for a while. But this is fine. It's all good. I'm supposed to report on the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am, Detective Dick, reporting for duty. Great. Um, thank you, Detective. I thought Prosecutor Godot was gonna get here before me. That guy's a real mystery, I tell ya. Prosecutor what now? I don't know. What does that mean? Prosecutor Godot. So who is this Prosecutor Godot? I've never heard of him. Yeah, he's a new guy. Sh Wait a minute. Showed up after you left the country. But wasn't he that guy that was investigating that crime scene with Mia like all those years ago? During Mia's first thing and he was like the top of the Grossberg law office and... Ooh, I just, I just have so many questions. He kind of looks like that guy. He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say a bad word about the guy. What kind of man is he? An asshole. He became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. He's real good. If he's so good, how is it that I've never heard of him? Perhaps because I've been out of the country for a year, maybe, hmm? That was Diego. Well, I guess that was not... I mean, yeah, it was Diego, wasn't it? Diego Armando! Who is a good... I mean, he was good. But this guy, this Godot fella, like, he's just a different breed, really. Is he the lead prosecutor on this case? You bet he is. After all, you know who is right in the middle of it. What? I don't know what that means. Phoenix Wright, of course. For some reason, Godot has really got it in for Mr. Wright. I wish I knew why. Oh? Yeah, he seems to have some kind of a grudge. What the fuck did he do? And what would be the cause of this grudge? I don't know. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. Why would you do that? No one would make fun of his cool mask. None of this is making any sense. I'd better look into this Godot myself. Oh, I will. Oh, trust me, I'm going to, too. So this is the bridge that Wright fell through? Yep, I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Look before you cross is how it goes, right? <laughs> oh, was that leap? And is there something on that other side? Yeah, some old building they call the Inner Temple. But we can't get over there without a bridge, sir. What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But someone was at the Anna Temple doing some training, and now they're stuck in there. There's still a person on the other side? And that's Maya Faye? Is she okay? Oh, no, her again. Anyway, the air's really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction. No one's gonna be able to reach the Anna Temple until tomorrow. Will she be alright in this cold? Probably not. I think she's gonna die. So, how did this bridge burn down anyway? We're almost 100% sure it was lightning. Almost 100% sure, or li lightning? Tell me about the lightning. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning? Yeah, maybe, I guess, I don't know. Last night it snowed for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that, but according to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Weather data added to the court record, a regional weather report of the uh, night of the crime. Hmm, I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. It even has the exact time that the lightning struck the bridge. Oh, that? We got that information from the witness's testimony. Wait, someone saw the lightning strike the bridge? Who? Sorry, I'll go ask one of our local cops later, sir. No, I need this in- What happened? Did lightning perhaps strike the bridge? I just got back into the country, so I don't really know much about this case. It's simple. Well, simple is as simple does, as they say. Oh, you've got no idea how much I've missed that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. But seriously, this one's a piece of cake. There's a witness that saw the whole thing. Oh, witness? Who? 
yeah, that bikini. Oh my god, I was her the whole time. Bikini lady here on this freezing cold mountain. Well, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details, sir. I may have to talk to this bikini lady. I mean, decisive witness myself. I'll do it too. Did you know that I'm a defense attorney now? Received from Riot. He wasn't serious when he gave this to me. Was he? Huh? What's that thing you're doing on your lapel, Mr. Edgeworth? Is it really that odd? Yes, it's incredibly weird, sir. A prosecutor wearing a defense attorney's badge? That's like a detective with a license to kill! Does this little thing hold that ominous of a meaning? I guess so. Have you ever seen this thing before? Hey, thanks a lot. I was getting kind of hungry. Ch oh my god, he ate it. Gumshoe, why'd you eat my Magatama? What are you doing, detective? Ah! I thought it was some kind of candy that would fill me up, sir. Lately, I've been feeling so hungry all the time. Oh my god, maybe his salary has been cut just a little too much? <laughs> you don't say, Edgeworth. Toad, it's okay. It's, it's, it's all, it's all jokes. <laughs> There's, we, no. No, erm, um, no. That's an erm, um, no moment right there. What do I do? D uh, detention center? Hello? It looks like Iris is being interrogated right now. This place certainly brings back memories. Oh, yeah. Oh, holy shit. Were we, like, driving together? Why are you here? Uh, come to think of it, you got thrown in here once too, didn't you, sir? But you know what? I've never even been in jail a single time. I should think it's hard to land in jail when you're so harmless. Yes, well, if you're in jail, you don't have to pay for your own meals, you know. <sighs> what? Don't get any funny ideas, dick. Too late. I already did. And any... Well, that's some weird foreshadowing right there. I guess I'll have to come back here later. Goodbye. <laughs> well, that was fun. I'm glad I Well, now what do I do? Should I examine a little bit harder? I've never examined any of this. I guess I should. So this is the bridge Wright tried to cross. Pretty reckless if you ask me. I'm amazed he survived the fall from up here. Yeah, he's one lucky guy, sir. Now, I see how he manages to win his cases in court. Blind luck. I think dumb luck suits Wright just a bit better. Because he's stupid. There's a little shack down that way called Heavenly Hall. A shack down that way called Heavenly Hall? Yeah, it's like a rundown doghouse for losers that can't bear the freezing drafts of wind. Kind of reminds me of my apartment, sir. Damn. That's sad. The name Heavenly Hall makes it sound like a palace. Giving a hovel a great name is a crime itself. I'd call it false advertising. By the way, the name of my apartment complex is Compton Castles. That's not such a great name if you ask me. Well, it's not such a great apartment either, sir. I'd live in poverty, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Some letters are wildly engraved into a roughly cut border. Dusky Bridge, it certainly is an appropriate name. You need to get some glasses, Mr. Edgeworth. That sign says Dusty Bridge. I can see how you read it wrong, though, sir. You're the one who needs glasses, dick. Trying to, it's not, it's called, it's not that. Ah, you're right, it's Dusty Bridge after all. I guess whoever wrote this made a mistake. What? No. Hey, it's a public phone. You don't see a lot of those anymore. That's true. Since we've got one here, why don't we take a photo as as a memento? Well, I, I guess, why, I don't care, sure. Oh, darn it, I don't have a camera with me. I'm gonna go buy a disposable camera. I'll be right back! What's so special about public phones, and why is he so fascinated by them? I don't know. Why is he acting so weirdly suspicious? Is that all? Well, I mean, that's all. What? what? I, I already did what? Main gate? Oh, probably that one, yeah. February 8th, Hazakura Temple. Hello? Yo, Edgy, what took you so long? I'm so cold, my brain's turned to Sherbert. I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. What do you mean? 
Light is going to be fine, and the case itself isn't anything unusual. And I find myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder! Hey, wait a sec! Hold it! Objection, they say! What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, it's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of lame excuse is that, and you call yourself a defense attorney? Prosecutor Edgeworth is a prosecutor, and that's why he prosecuted... He, he is the one. Prosecutor Edgeworth, defense attorney, just sounds plain old weird, pal! Right, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I don't know what to say to this. Hmm, dude, Edgy! I don't see you for a couple of years and your heart turns to Sherbert. I'd say more like Sorbet. It's rather cold here. Iris didn't murder her. Someone else did it. My girlfriend would never be evil. I just know it, okay? So just trust me on this one. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton on to right, that is. I hope so. This is not a job for Edgeworth. Edgeworth is simply not s suited to be a defense attorney. He's not, and he never will be. He's a prosecutor, and to see him not as a prosecutor, ooh, it just doesn't make any sense. It just pisses me off so bad. This is a banger track, but I'll be right back because I have got to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm so, I mean, Laurice the I'm sorry. It's Larry Butts. Hey, what are we talking about, Larry? How's it going? Our streamer isn't stupid. Oh, you spoke too soon, Adriana. Uh, what, examine, move, talk, present. Uh, well, gee, I guess I'll talk to him a little bit. Lyris. More like Lyris. Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute. Right, Edgy? You think so too? Isn't she hot? What's wrong? Why aren't you saying she's hot? To put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Could it be that the reason you think she's innocent? Come on, a girl that cute can't possibly be a murderer. This fucking guy. I was right after all. I should have never come back. 
No, no, don't worry. I see things for how they really are this time. Honest. If I had a penny for every time he said that. It's just that, well, Iris is a delicate flower. You can't force things too much. Know what I mean? What? I do not know what you are talking about, Larry. Oh, uh, uh, forget about it. I didn't say anything. What? It's weird. Okay. Larry, where were you and what were you doing on the night of the crime? Larry, where were you and what were you doing on the night of the crime? Huh? Oh, don't tell me. You think I might have done it? What? Maybe. Get lost! Go back to your charter jet and get out of my sight, you creep! And I hope your plane crashes and you die? Holy shit! Whoa! Whoa, dude. Hang on a moment. Now, why you gotta go and say that, Larry? Based? What do you mean, based? No, he's not. He's mean. That's a mean moment. Larry's being mean. Every time Larry's mean to me, I'll take a drink, okay? Every time Larice is mean, I'll also take a drink, okay? That's so not cool of you to say. How about you jump off a cliff, you know? Overcome your fear of dying and jump off a cliff. But that is your real name. All because I said that girl he wants to fuck isn't hot. That's the only reason he's mad at me right now. How pathetic is that? I'll ask you just one more time. On the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? Aw, oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, that's it. That's it. Three of them, as I suspected, Cyclops. I'm sorry, man. You know me. I just don't remember. My short-term memory is a wreck, dude. Why do we trust this guy? Why are we calling this guy my friend? He's no friend of mine. He is a villain. He is a nemesis. Yo, Pearl! Are you okay? Where are you? Hello? You! <sighs> hey, hello there. Uh, so, how are you feeling? All right, I suppose. Huh? Who is this? Uh, my, my name is Miles Edgeworth. Please don't say you want to fuck me. There's already enough old ladies that want to fuck me as is. My, my, my! I want to fuck you! Welcome! Uh, if circumstances weren't so tragic, I might just... Please don't call me boy. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. Well, you have found her. Now, what can I do to help? Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikini. Ha 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 ha! If you ask nicely, I might give you a peek, big boy. <clears throat> okay, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> uh, Mr. Edgeworth? This is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? This is exactly why your sh salary keeps on getting cut. Yeah, my stomach is already growling in protest. I'm so hungry. Please, I can't eat. So, um, oh, what's the latest about my beloved Iris? Well, first, I want to hear what you know. Let's hear it right now. First, I'd like to ask you about last night. Whoa, this is last night? Damn, he was fast. I didn't know this took place last night. I probably should, though, if I was paying more attention. Last night, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. She must be talking about Maya, that girl I know. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was about nine when we left here. Training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. Okay, so what happened to her, though? But the channeling dojo's head nod must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Wow, you're right. That does sound exhausting. So exhausting that you would go to sleep while in inspecting her or, like, keeping watch over her? You're, you're a liar. She's lying. Ooh, she's lying. You didn't watch her. How'd you, how come you got the cots then? Detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. Sometime around 11, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard. But your duty was in the inner temple. Why did you come back here? 
The way you're staring at me, I'm starting to get horny. <laughs> Please don't say that. I'm starting to get not horny myself. Ho ho ho! You got the chills pretty easy, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? Why did you return? This is the number one important question on the mind. So the head nun, it's your duty to stay with the acolyte at all time, correct? Yeah, that's right. I know I may look strong. You totally do. But the truth is, I've got a bad lower back. A bad lower back? Yes, it's especially bad in the winter. So bad that I can't even lift a bucket. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back felt as stiff as a frozen glass. I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. Then you're a liar! You should have been looking after my Maya, you asshole! So why... So you left the disciple all alone in the fucking dungeon? Don't be ridiculous! I would never do that. Oh, jeez. And there it is. That's why I ordered Iris to the inner temple after she had rung the bell for lights out. Yes, but she never went to the inner temple, did she? So did this head nun actually see Iris there? I think I'd better try to get some more details. I will try. What did you see? Alrighty then. I'd like to you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. It must have been past 11. Ah, no, I can't say it. It's it's too much for my poor heart. I don't care about your heart. Just tell me. Hey, calm down, Lee. Let go of my tie. Oh, my God. That is so horribly brutal. Wouldn't it be super obvious if you were stabbed with a giant, like, greatsword with seven fucking prongs on it? It's probably going to be... Pr yeah, here's an entry wound, and then here's, like, seven more after it. Based on this image, it's going, like, to the hill. Like, goddamn. She stabbed the shit out of her. I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. The other one was stabbing her from the back. What a sword! Are you telling me that this is another scenario that involves Eagle River and Dusky Bridge and someone is getting stabbed in the back and someone fell into the river? These are, these are the facts of the case that we know so far. Oh, man. Did you see this criminal with your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris. It was her. I believe you. I honestly believe you. Straight up. You must have been quite shocked. Of course she was. Try putting yourself in her shoes. It'd be like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright smack in the middle of the courtroom. And I happened to witness it from the witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked, too. I guess. I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed and then I passed out. <laughs> what is with everybody passing out in this game, dude? I don't get it. Why does everybody keep fainting? Is your iron low? I don't know what to say. Jesus Christ, every time somebody faints, take a drink, okay? That's what we're gonna have to do. She's an old lady? It doesn't matter. How often do you meet people that just faint when they see a crime? Not often. I don't care how old you are. Eat some, like, whole wheat bread. If you gotta, it's fine. You're gonna be okay. You don't have to faint. <laughs> I saw this horrible thing happen, and I, I, and honestly, I fucking fainted. What can I do? I just, I simply fainted. It couldn't be helped. Oh, I'm past. Help me, chat. I'm fainting right now. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm, fainting. <gasps> I'm awake. I, fa I, I was out for a spell, but now I'm back. Hey guys, I'm back. See, okay. That was really weird. Okay, now I understand what they're talking about. I'm gonna take this drink. Every time I faint, that's a drink. Cheers. So unfortunately for us, her testimony seems to be pretty solid. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems unnatural. Uh, what do you mean? The girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of f f f foulness. I wonder what she means by that. Tell me about the Acolyte, please, would you? So who is this Acolyte that was to train at the Inner Temple? 
Her name was Maya Fey. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. What the fuck did you do to Maya? I hate you, Bikini. I hate you. What did you do to Maya? And after she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course... Special course? It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 30,000 times. Can you believe people pay me for this? What a bunch of assholes! You don't mean to tell me she's still doing that over at the inner temple, do you? No, 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 of course not! You don't have to worry about that one little bit. Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. Wait, what? Well, uh, that's good, I suppose. Oh, dear, dear. There's one thing I forgot to tell you. What? Uh-oh, I don't think I like the sound. It's almost I, I have a bad feeling about this, but it's not. Imagine being mean to Sister Bikini who has done nothing wrong. What are you talking about? She just admitted to being mean to Maya. Or are you suddenly okay with being mean to Maya? In which case, I hate Maya. She stinks. Do you know that small girl? I believe it's Mr. Maya's little sister. Maya has a little sister? Oh, you mean Lil Pearl? That's Maya Faye's cousin. Little what? I thought she was going to visit Mystic Elise after we'd finished with dinner cleanup. But I haven't seen her at all since late last night. She's nowhere. Okay, is this not more the pressing matter? Should we not be looking for the lost five-year-old girl in the freezing cold woods? I, I feel like we should, like, call all units right now, bring out the fucking choppers. Which we can't do because it's windy up here on the mountains and that's why we can't rescue Maya, I know. But this is a huge- I- You better find her! You better find the girl right now! She's somewhere out there cold and alone and scared and hungry. I don't like this one bit. She's gonna have to read her own pretzel to get out of this situation. You mean she's- She was with the victim? Wait, what? It's all the fault of my stupid creaky old- It's my back. Oh, guys, I swear it's my back. You can't possibly ba blame me. It's my back, dude. A little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder is gone? Did she get tossed into the river? As they say, the plot thickens. Every time anyone says the plot thickens, I will take a drink for it, okay? I'll do it. That's my that's my assurance to you. I'll do it. Emma over Maya? Oh, is Emma better than Maya? In a lot of ways, yes. And objectively, a lot of ways, yeah. She's just like a lot smarter than Maya. A lot less needy and annoying. She doesn't drag me out to the top of mountains to do some stupid spiritual training where she needs someone that's over 20 years old to like supervise. You know what? Emma is better than Maya, isn't she? Emma's pissed me off a lot less than Maya has. I'll tell you that right now. Emma is so annoying. Have you met Maya? Have you seen this character named Maya? Are you kidding me? I'm just saying. She's way smarter. She's objectively more helpful. She gives me so much more evidence. Maya over Emma? I don't know. I don't... Is that true, though? Uh... She is like a nerd. So that, like, loses her points, because I hate nerds. Nerds are stupid and cringe. It's impossible to say. Why can I not just hire Maya and Emma to come work for me? That is, like, it's not like I dislike one or both of them. Like, I like them both. Why can we not just work together to have this power trio? Like, we got the spiritual side, we got the argumentative side, that's me, and we got the science side from Emma. Like, the, like boom, 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 we're covering all bases here. This would be huge. And if we're trying to be even more efficient, kick out Maya and bring in Pearl. Because she's objectively better than Maya. In like every way. Smarter, better at spirits, she has a pretzel. I mean, what do you, what's not to love? Cheers. Kate supports child labor? Well, no, it's not just child labor, it's experience for her. It's like a, it's, a, it's, it's not labor, it's like, uh, it's, it's like teaching. It's like, you know, if I join, like, an electrician's, if I become, like, an electrician's apprentice, 
Is that labor? No, I'm just like, I'm learning on the job. And that's what Pretzel would be doing. She's learning on the job. Like, I am giving her the skill set that's required for her to pursue her future career path. So I am being a helpful boy. It's me. Nobody else. I'm nice, and I need, and I don't need Maya, and I do need Pretzel. I guess Maya can stick around because she's like good comic relief, but like otherwise, fuck her. Who needs her? It's an internship. It's an unpaid internship. Let's go with that. There we go. The plot thickens, by the way. What was I talking about? Uh, did you know that I'm a lawyer? Uh, about this here. Hmm, let me see that. Well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what it truly is, we strive to break our attachments to much of the transient material realm. I guess you could call me an immaterial girl. I guess she lives in an immaterial world, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? I guess so. Let's leave and not come back. See ya. Uh, courtyard, probably. It seems important. There's a, there's a lot of blood. Okay, can we get, like, a blood sample? Yo, dick, run this blood real quick. And this is where the murder took place, sir. Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thank you, detective. I'll just have a look around. It looks like the police are still investigating. Oh, yeah, by the way. I thought I'd better ask, just to be sure. Are you really gonna defend that nun, Iris, at the trial tomorrow? I suppose, what choice do I have? I gave him my word, and now I must follow through with my commitment. Or do I... Okay, why can I not just go retire on some, like, tropical beach somewhere? Surely Edgeworth has made the bag. We, we have the bag. Edgeworth has the bag. All you gotta do is retire and, and just invest in Bitcoin. That's all we need. Edgeworth invests in Bitcoin, and then he's set for life. Like, he's got the funds. He, he's good. He's, he's, he doesn't have to worry about these things. Well, in that case, I've got to be careful. Got to make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, detective. I don't have any faith in you as is. Just keep your mouth closed, and I think most of it will flow on its own. You got it, sir. I'll make sure it flows out like water from a tap. Okay, good luck, detective. Just how much has your runny spout leaked over the years? Let's talk to him, the victim. Let's do it. The victim is the famous picture book author, Miss Dil- Did Pearl do it? Was it Pearl? Did Pearl murder this girl and then run away into the forest? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not ruling that out, okay? Her entire past up until now, she won that writing award last year, is a total mystery. It's hard to believe in this day and age, you can still find people like that. The estimated time it oh my god, is this the autopsy report? Let's go, dick, I know you could do it. The estimated time of death with the victim, uh, 10 and 11 p.m. on February 7th. Cause of death was blood loss resulting from a stab in the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found skewered with a giant sword, sir. That's... that sucks. I hope that doesn't happen to me, ever. I hope I don't literally get stabbed in the back. Yeah, but there's one strange thing. What? The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. Ooh, so she died violently. That's sad. The bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. Okay, so... She fell... So she was on the other side and she... Where is it? Where the hell is it? It's the bedrock on the right side of the bridge near the inner temple, right? She fell from a two-story building, quote-unquote. Hit the bedrock, retrieved the body, we brought it up. How the hell do you retrieve the body from the bedrock down there? Ah, uh, you just follow, like, that path, maybe. I don't know, you get a ladder. It's called ladder, you get a ladder. Uh, and then you bring it back there and you stab it, and, like, it's, it's, it, and boom. And that's it. And that's how you... I'm... I don't know what I'm talking about, I'll be honest. A two-story one? That would be about the same height as that room in front of us, correct? Oh, wait a minute. Hey, you're right. Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth. You're smart. That just happens to be the room that Elite Dooman was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out of the window after she was stabbed by the sworn. Elise autopsy. Uh, okay. Time, 10 to 11 p.m. Cause, loss of blood from stab in the back. Body fell 10 feet after death. After death, okay, that's kind of a huge thing. After the death, stabbed in the back, pushed off 10 feet. 
That's not, is that, is that two stories? Are we calling 10 feet two stories? I wouldn't, because that's like one story. Now then, detective, let's see if we can surmise what we've learned so far. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Please, let's do it. According to the testimony of Sister Bikini, the head nun, right after they'd finished dinner and she and she and Maya Faye headed to the inner temple. Right, 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 right. I see that. Look at the graphics. Look at them move. There they go. They're moving. They're in the temple. At 10 p.m., after ringing the bell for lights out, Iris went to the inner temple. Okay. Set fire to the bridge. Did all this evil stuff. When she got there, Bikini had to take over while she went back to ha Hazakura Temple. That's not a good idea. It's a bad idea. After taking a hot bath to soothe her back. Stab! Boom! Dead! Sister Bikini witnessed the murder in the courtyard. Unless she didn't, unless she's just lying. If you want more details, you should ask Bikini herself in the main hall. The inner temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. Please tell me about it, dick. What is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to Bikini, it's an old building they use for training the acolytes. It's on the other side of the dusky bridge. The bridge that burned down, huh? We, the place we can't go to right now? Is there anything else on the other side of the bridge besides the inner temple? Oh, that's me. Uh, nope, not a thing. Nothing? The other side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. In a way, it's kind of like a little island out there. So the only thing there is the inner temple. Why would you even- Why would you build a bridge to an island with nothing on it? Fuck that place, who cares? How about you just spend the time you would spend building the bridge, building something on the main island? Mountain, you know what I mean. I hear it's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Please be alright, Maya. I am deeply in love with you all along. That's, that's the twist of the game. The trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's that Godot guy, but nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for a replacement. It better not be Franziska Van Karma! It better not be Franziska Van Karma! I tell you what, if it's Franziska Van Karma, I will actually do a backflip live on camera. It's really weird, all of a sudden no one can reach him. Hmm, I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright caught a cold and won't be defending, he's just, he doesn't care. I intend to appear in court in the role of the defense attorney. However, I would be quite unhappy if it came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Yeah, well, I can see why, but I'm not sure one, I'm not, sh I'm not the one you have to worry about. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I think the real problem is gonna be that judge. Yes, he certainly would remember my face even after such a long time. That's why I requested that another judge preside over the trial. To Yo, we can do that? We can ask for a different judge? We can, have, like, have we always been able to do that, really? We've only met each other once. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. That's the dude! That's the, that's the hockey man! Yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office must know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, Mr. Edgeworth. It sounds like it's probably Franziska Von Kama, huh? I had no idea you had such a powerful string to pull. Oh, you have no idea. Well, that was fun, main hall. Well, that was fun, uh, courtyard. Well, that was fun, main hall and then outside of the building. Yes! I'm so smart. Hello. Hmm, I don't see Larry anywhere. Maybe he was, we scared the poor kid away. His heart was shut tight with a number of psych locks. I guess I'll have to look for him now. What a thorn in my side. I don't know where he is. Suspension bridge? Hello? No. Well, damn. Detention center? Hello? No. I can't even go to the right and co law offices. I, this sucks. All right. Chat, what do I do? Chat, let's hurry it up with the back seating. What do I do now? I don't know what to do. Who do I talk to? Where do I go? 
How do I win? Uh, I'll, I'll do my best. I am currently Google searching a guide for investigation 135 Ace Attorney. It's the Cyclox. Oh, okay, I'll see the Cyclox. Okay, that's my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here we go. Um, that would be the main hall, and then you. Well, then where? But I can't. Wait, what? Who's got the Cyclox? No one's got the Cyclox. You don't got the Cyclox. Who do I present the Cy? He has Cyclox. He says. What? People are going crazy right now. I don't even know what's going on. Investigation part one. Okay, I'm looking at the guide. Hang on. Uh, right in Colot, suspension bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Detention center. Talk to Iris about the site. Uh, wait, what? Where? What? Examine the main hall. Okay, I'll try. I'm doing it. What do you think about this? That's... That's one of Fae Clan's very own Magatama. That's a priceless treasure you've got to... Wow, I'm impressed, sir. You never fail to surprise me. Yeah, you don't look it, but I can see you're a real fan of the occult. What? Oh, of course, this place couldn't possibly be real, but to have such a nice replica, clearly you are a big fan of- No, that's not true, ma'am. I just need to- Okay, what do I do, though? Examine? Not present. Okay, I'll try to examine a little bit harder. The big one. Let's do the big- That thing sure casts a strong presence over the whole room. This is the Lesser Magatama. It's a precious heirloom containing a great many souls. What the fuck? This thing is lesser? What is the greater one like? The greater Magatama is displayed in the main room of Fey Manor. It was supposed to be shown at the Treasures of Kurain exhibit, but you know how that went right with the whole thing going on? I guess so. Touch. It's an altar with a giant Magatama enshrined on it. There are lots of candles lined up too, you know? I haven't been a... I, I haven't had a birthday party for myself in a while. Maybe you should blow out those candles over there to make up for that. Mr. Edgeworth, would you mind singing happy birthday to me? No, no! You're being religiously insensitive, dick. Oh, it's a warmed cat box. But <laughs> where are the cats? It's called a hibachi. I have to sneeze. I'm sorry, chat. Hang on. <sighs> oh. Okay. It's called a hibachi, you idiots, for heating the room. Oh, look at all these ancient straw frisbees. Those are Zabuton cushions. We know what those are. Why are you giving me such a hard time, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? Why? Because learning something new might actually be a good thing for you, detective. You fucking idiot. What am I doing? Okay, what am I- I, I have to examine the bridge? Is that what we're saying? I'll try. No, not there. Uh, here. And then here. And then examine. I already did. I- I- I did it. Unless... Unless... It looks like a pretty good distance to that far cliff. Yeah. It's gotta be around 100 yards or so. Detective, that's not even close to 100 yards. Well, I gotta admit, I'm not very good at judging distances. It's about 20 yards or so, and impossible to cross without a bridge, it seems. That's not helpful. You missed it, bruh. I don't know what it is, bruh. You can't just say these weird, vague things and expect me to understand. Is it, is it in the main hall? I'll, I'll inspect again. I'm examining. Check this out. Oh, the paper under the thing! Hang on, now I see it. Hang on, hang on. That's the one. There are more insect cushions in the corner of the room. What's this white piece of paper sticking out? Hmm, beats me. You should probably read it, maybe. Would you mind checking that for me, detective? Yeah, I guess so. I suppose. Here you are! I thought my game crashed. Mr. Edgeworth, it looks like an old manila envelope. Yeah! What, detective? This... This could be it. An ultra-important clue, a super special clue. I suppose I should read it myself then, and I will do that right now. I get- no, okay, I'll hold- I'll do that in a moment. It looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. Tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall, unless you want your secret to be exposed. So Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney wrote this, right? We're all on the same page there? Okay, great. This sounds like a blackmail. Why the hell would a lawyer blackmail a girl? Note to Iris- Oh, come on, Phoenix. Found in the main hall, maybe she dropped it? I don't know. Nice going there, Miss Edgeworth. 
Why can't I ever find clues like that? You're an ultra-important prosecutor, super-duper prosecutor. Well, I, thank you, I guess. I suppose it takes a super-duper kind of dumb to miss this clue. Well, that's good. Okay, now what? Now do I show that to Lady? What do you think about this, Lady? Do you know anything about this? Uh, is that addressed to Iris? Yeah, it's, it says to Iris on it, after all. I can't believe it. That girl doesn't have any secrets from me. Ah, so Sister Bikini doesn't know anything about anything. Okay, that's great. Anything else? No? Maybe? No, that's irrelevant. Now can I move? Now can I go talk to that girl? At that place in that prison? Let's try it right now. How do I do it? I've already- I don't know. Main gate. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's okay. Um, what do we do now? What do- who do we- What do you think about it? No, I'm just a detective, you see? I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, back to the suspension bridge, then move to the inner temple gate, then finally to the training hall. Uh, briefly meet someone. No, that's not- what? No, it's too late. Det how do I- what do I do? Did you read the letter? Yeah, I did. It says to Iris of Hazakura Temple. Salutation here. There is something I must talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Make sure you come unless you want your secret to be exposed. Where's Heavenly Hall? I don't know where that is. What? Where is that? I don't know where it is. Is that at the... Is that... Wait a minute. Hello? No. No, it's not here. Hello, Heavenly Hall? Hello? Are you here? No. You don't have anything to say about it, Heavenly Hall? Ah, Sister Bikini didn't know anything about nothing. I'm trying my best, guys. I, I swear I am. Trust me, when I'm just, like, struggling, I- like, I'm trying. Like, I want to win. Don't make the mistake that I'm not trying to win because I am, but I don't know what to do sometimes. Sign by the bridge? Let's go see the sign by the bridge real quick. Main gate? Uh, yeah, that's close enough. Move to the bridge! Oh, it's Heavenly Hall! That's the one! That is so true! Okay, 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 I see. But we already examined it. It has a little crossover and everything. What do we do? There's a little shack down the way called Heavenly- A shack? It's called- Yeah, it's Heavenly Hall. Can we go? Giving a hobble a great name- Yeah, it's a car- What? Do you want to go or not? Do you want to go or not? Let's go! Maybe there's a pretzel down there. I'm just saying. Maybe. That did not work. That simply did not work. And I don't know what to do now. Uh, <laughs> did I examine the main gate? Uh, probably not. Let me try that real quick. Can we hit the snowmobile up? Can we, can we ride around on this thing? I suppose this type of thing is necessary up here in the mountains where it's snowing all the time. Say, this just gave me a great idea. Something tells me he's about to say something stupid. I've got an idea for a brand new invention. It might even make me rich. What? Yeah, a car that can travel on snow. I'll call it snow car. What do you think, sir? Would you like a ride or so do you like the snow car? I don't like the snow car, no. It's stupid. It looks pretty old, strong enough to resist the weight of time. You know, Mr. Regworth, here's some flavor text for you. It's not relevant. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That has got to be the main hall back there. Yeah, we've been there many times, trust me. No, we've been there. We know. Um, let's see. Inner Temple Gate? Training Hall? What? I can't do that. What do you mean? Um, I'm reading. Hang on. No, that's late. Wait, 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 wait. No, not there. Um, no, I haven't done the Cyclops yet. We can't do that. 
Uh, from on a newer version of the game, you can also present attorney's badge at this point to step... Oh, okay, well that... Oh, I, an, an achievement! I can get an achievement by presenting my attorney's badge. Did you know that? I know that now. That's cool. How do I go to the... I don't know what to do. Present Iris to Bikini. Okay, I'll... Th that, that is the next course of action. Yo, Bikini! Nope. This one. Iris to Bikini! You said you went with mine to the training hall and then ended Did you happen to see Iris while you were there? Of course I saw her. I told her to meet us after ringing the bell at 10. So you're saying Iris came to the inner temple then? Of course she did. Iris has always been a good, obedient girl and totally not evil. After that, I had Iris help Mystic Maya begin her training. Cool, cool, cool. But that doesn't fit with Iris's story is the problem. She said that she never went to the inner temple. Ooh. Yikes. As they say, the pl Fuck. 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 Oh, man. And there it is. And there it is. Okay. Cheers, everybody. Ugh, the plot does indeed thicken. It sure feels like Cade is drunk and playing the game, but he isn't. I don't know what that means, but I am I am playing Ace Attorney uh, Trilogy, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trilogy, A Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. The fifth case? I don't know if you played it, but this is the fifth case. Cheers. And let me tell you, the plot... It's as thick as a bowl of oatmeal. Why did you decide to drink for that, you twit? Uh, cause it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. Oh, that was fun. Okay, now can I talk? No. Uh, now can I go to- I know I have to go talk to the girl at some point in the, uh, the room. But I don't know if I can do that right now. Is she in the room? Can I go talk to the girl at the room? Suspension bridge? Why would I go to the suspension bridge? No. How do you go to- how the hell you go from the detention center to the bridge to the room? Or it, it's it's the it's the outside it's the main gate to the detention no. Who cares? It's not here. Where else do I need to examine? It, it doesn't matter. Like it's it's all just like I'm coasting at this point. It's fine. You know, I got the guide pulled up and everything. Like I just it just don't matter. Examine the crime scene? I can examine the Oh, I can Yeah, I could I could do that. I probably should do that even. Why did I not think to do that sooner? Main hall, move to the crime scene. Examining the crime scene. Oh yeah, this is probably having a lot of information, okay? Let's see, let's see. Yeah guys, I get it. The content's not good, but thank you for watching anyway. So the sword from this gold statue is actually the murder weapon. It sure is, it's called a sh -sh 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 shito By the way, nasty piece of work, sir. Uh, there's still blood on it. I suppose this is the victim's blood. Yup, it's all over the blade. And speaking of all over the blade, there are fingerprints. Oh, well, that's going to help us a lot. All over the hilt of the Shishishito, too. Finger watch. Naturally, they match the prints that... Uh, I don't think we can defend this lady. I think we're just going to lose, actually. Her fingerprints are all over the murder weapon, eh? What's wrong? You're looking very solemn right now for some weird reason. Is this how it is for right? Is this what I put this asshole through every single time? Oh my god, dude, we deserve to lose. This is so much harder from, like, his side than mine. Yeah, I figure it doesn't really feel good. <laughs> to be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. But not as detrimental as the shishishito going into your back. You know, that apparent murder weapon right there has the victim's blood and the suspect's fingerprints on it. All right, I got that. Yo, the cane. Where's the amethyst orb? I don't know where the amethyst orb is, though. What's this? It looks like a wizard staff. That belonged to the victim, Mr. Elie Dumont. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh, yeah. Listen, this is just between us, okay, sir? What? What? It's top secret. Do not tell it. What? When I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard.
I don't know what to say to that. What do you what do you expect? Yeah, no, no, that's it. I wanted to be a wizard. Okay, great. This staff was made from a very weird kind of wood, and also it's strong and strange. What kind what about the fingerprints? Are there any on the wood? Thank you, Mystique, for the prime. Insert good take about Godot. He's stupid. That's the only thing you need to say. That's a good take right there. Just the victims. Victim staff carried by Elise Dumont when she was alive has her fingerprints on it. That's cool. Uh, the birdhouse? I mean, the lantern? I suppose they light it at night, maybe. There's something elegant about the light of the fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax by my room by candlelight. Detective, can you not afford to pay your electricity bill? How did you know? Because I'm the one who cut your salary so fucking heavily that you can't pay for electricity. And I'm sorry for that. What is that? What the hell is this that I'm seeing right here? What is this? What do you think this is? The main gate must be over that stone wall. Ah, stone walls. I jumped over a few of those in my time. Most of them are good memories, but not all. Detective, I don't care. Perhaps someone should introduce you to the concept of paucity of words. That's... I don't know what that is. We'll never know. Are these skis? Are you skiing? Ah, I love skiing. Really? You don't um, seem like the type. Well, what about slaves? What? Nah. They're a little too kiddy, you know? Messes with my hard-boiled image. What's with the silence, Mr. Edgeworth? I... Is the world starting to go mad? What is that supposed to... Okay, talk... I can't talk about the sled. I didn't even know there were skis here. I didn't even see that. Look up here. The main hall of Hazakura Temple is above us here. Hey, you're right, but I'm pretty sure the main hall didn't have a second floor. Hazakura Temple was built on a steep part of the mountain, you fucking idiot. The front and back of the main hall are on different levels. Oh, that makes sense. But wouldn't it be easier for, to just build the place slanted, sir? I fail to see how he can consider that to be an even remotely good idea. He's very dumb. That's why, Edgeworth. Are we good? Have I investigated enough? Is it time to talk a No, I think it's time to leave. Main hall. Move. To here. Move. To the bridge. Which somehow makes me move to the detention center. And there it is! We did it! We finally achieved our goal! You! Ah, Mr. Edgeworth! I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I've already told you everything- No, you didn't. Please remember. I'm on your side. I am your lawyer, after all. Please, for the love of fucking God, just tell me what happened. That would make things so much easier for me, dude. You can tell me whatever you gotta tell me. Okay. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, okay? See you all in a moment. See you in a moment. Goodbye.
playing the game still, and we need to continue until we finish the investigation at least, which should be happening soon, probably, but maybe not. I don't know. Let's talk to this lady. Hello. Tell me about the inner temple. I just finished speaking with the head nun of Hazakura Temple. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said she saw you stab Miss Elise Dumont with a sword with seven prongs. And the other thing, she said that when Naya Faye began, er, began her training at the inner temple, you were there as well. What? When I spoke with you last, you claimed that you never went to the inner temple. And yet Sister Bikini says she met with you at the inner temple that very night. But I, I didn't go there. I didn't go to the inner temple. Hmm, looks like she's unwilling to tell me the whole truth. I wonder if I'll find, okay, something, something, Cyclock. Got it. Yeah, let's launch it. Why not? Take that. Take that. Take it. Enjoy it too. Only two? That's easy for me. I was frightened. Since I have been handed this case, it is my duty, sorry, I didn't mean to do that, uh, to dig up all the answers, understand? Yeah, the smallest flame can sometimes pay the case in a whole new light. In my years in court, I've seen it happen over and over again, usually to my detriment. That's why I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then, is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Yeah, I swear. Yes, you said you didn't go because you were frightened. Yeah. If that's the case, then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? The big broken rickety bridge, maybe? Iris, I wonder. Is this what frightens you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? Well, she did. We know that for a fact that she did. Probably not the attorney's badge, probably not the Nagatama hanging scroll. Iris's hood, Hazakura temple map. Well, there it is, but that's with the bridge out, so that's totally different. Oh, Colt. Photo of Elise, weather data, Elise's autopsy report. Well, that's irrelevant, isn't it? Note to Iris found in the main hall. Salutation, oh, wait a minute. Salutation here. There is something I must talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Make sure you come, unless you want your secret to be exposed. Is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave? Well, how does that mean that she didn't leave her own room? That doesn't make any sense. She, I mean, this would mean that she saw it and then she did leave her own room, right? So no, not that one. The Shishishito, no. Victim staff, I fail to see how that's relevant. Ah, uh, the profiles. Is this what frightened you? Is it Phoenix himself? I'm sure you got a little bit shook when you saw Phoenix Wright himself in the flesh. But is that actually what we're going with? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's leave. Um, have we presented everything we need to present? What about this thing? Ah, uh, well, I don't know the details, but hang on. I've heard she's the master of the Kurain channeling technique. Master? Yes, Mystic Misty. She was a great spirit medium. That's what I've heard. I also heard that she went missing over 15 years ago. Spirit mediums? There's no such thing anyway. Bro, have you been to court with either Pretzel or Maya Faye present? Are you, are you kidding me? Are you actually joking right now? Is this just like an elaborate bit? F Edgeworth, you know. You know. I know all about them. They're nothing but frauds. No, they're not. She doesn't know anything about it, of course. But there was a time, 17 years ago, that's a long time, when I met the master myself. Probably her, in fact. Iris's hood. That's called a demon warding hood. I gave that to Mr. Wright last night. He was wearing this when I saw him at the hospital today. Oh. It's important item for protecting acolytes from evil spirits. If it's so important, then why did you give it to him? Last night, I felt something. I felt that something terrible was about to happen. 
I didn't want Mr. Wright to fall into its grip. Well, too late, he's in the hospital. Well, he wound up falling into something much deeper than and colder. It's called a river. I probably shouldn't say that out loud, though. Thank God for any inner monologue, you know? That's the thing that I do. Sorry, I don't know. Uh, I was against the idea of our temple appearing in the magazine. I was afraid that this type of tragedy might occur. In that case, why did you allow them to run an article about you? It was Sister Bikini. She's actually rather fond of attention, surprisingly so. Yeah, so much so that she named herself Sister Bikini. She certainly does look rather happy in this photo. That's enough of looking at that one. That's Mystic Elite Dommage. She's a picture book author, or so I've heard. Does she come to the Hakuza Temple often? No, this was her first time. It's just that, what? She was a very important visitor. Is that so? Yeah, Sister Bikini told me. Be certain not to offend her. The victim, Miss Elise Dumas. The prosecutor's office still doesn't have much information about her, it seems. Weather data, irrelevant. I'm sorry, irrelevant. Note to you? This letter, it's you, it's for you. I think it's someone's idea of a joke, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I threw it away. Well, you did a horrible job. Out of all of the play, you imagine living in like the wilderness in some weird mountain area, like 20 minutes away from anything. And uh, you throw it in the one place where human beings live. Not outside, not in the incinerator, not in the garbage, not in the river. You just, you just put it somewhere in the room. Oops! That's a bad idea, isn't it, Miss, Miss Lady? She's not giving me a straight answer. Okay, that's the thing that I have to present, right? I'm going to have to find, yes, it's called the Magatama. And I'll do it, too. Honestly, I'm not even afraid to do it at this point. Here we go, let's do it! How much do you like this Magatama? The game basically spelled it out for me this time. Is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? But how does this make sense? But she did. But like, bro, she did though. I wish I could save, but fuck it, who cares? You're kidding me. I found this in the main hall. It is addressed to you. Ah, that, 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 that's... Well, Iris, why? Why are you glaring at me? You were scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you, isn't that correct? I mean, no, not really, but I guess it's good enough. Was it the evidence or the power of my glare that broke the lock? I don't know. Oh, well, I don't suppose it matters either way. But Mr. Edgy, what? I thought that letter was just someone playing a prank. Well, that's not what you said when I presented this to you. Well, yeah, after all, even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it. Oh, yeah. There's no one to tell it to that would cause me any grief? What about Mr. Phoenix Wright himself? Hmm, I wonder. Sister Bikini is like a mom to me. I would never hide anything from her. No, you may not have anything to hide under normal circumstances. However, last night was kind of different, wasn't it? Unfortunately, I don't know how the exact nature of your secret yet. Uh, however, whatever is, there is one per- it's Phoenix Wright. Right? Like the guy that we were talking about, the guy that was like, that, writ that wrote the letter. That. It's probably that one. It's, yeah, it's him, right? Yeah, it's him. You mean something to write, it seems. And I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well, because you fucked him so many times. That's why you didn't want him, of all people, to know your deep, dark secret. Well. I should have expected as much, especially from a friend of his. Got him! Well, that was easy. That was super easy. That was no problem at all. Unlock successful. Frightened? Why? After dinner, this letter was waiting for me in my room. As I said, I was frightened by it. What is this heavenly hall the letter mentions? It's a small mountain shack at the base of Dusky Bridge. A small shack? Huh? I sure do wish we could go there, but no, we can't do that, actually. It's more like a broken-down shack that no one would ever want to go near. Hmm, where is it on this map? You've got to be kidding me. What do you mean? Why didn't you, why is it not on the map? 
It's around here. To get there, you must follow a small path down from Dusky Bridge. The reality is, to get to the Inner Temple, I had no choice but to cross the bridge. But I thought that such a terrible criminal could be lurking at Heavenly Hall. You've got to be kidding me. That's an updated math report. It is. It really, really is. Jesus Christ! Why would it not be on the th Why, why, why? I was so scared by the whole affair that I didn't even want to think about it. That's too bad considering you didn't, you killed my boy. So this is the secret that you locked away in your heart. Yeah. It looks as though I may have to visit this heavenly hall now. Maybe I'll find some sign of our, our mystery blackmailer. In any case, uh, you claim to have never left your room last night? That's not true. Yeah, that's exactly right. Rang lights out bell at 10 p.m. and was then in her room until the murder was discovered. That's not right. I'm going to win so that you and Phoenix Wright can see each other again. Did you know that? But when I do, you must promise me that you will tell him your secret. It's pointless. Why would you- why? Because I may know who Phoenix Wright is, but he has no idea who I am. I think he does. I think he does know who you are, though. That's the thing. That's the crazy thing. Let's get out of here. Heavenly Hall. Now, I'm so glad that we talked to her to figure out where Heavenly Hall was. Because unless we did that, honestly, like, how in the fuck were we supposed to figure out where Heavenly Hall was? I don't really see any sort of way that we could have seen where Heavenly Hall was unless we talked to her. And maybe we could have checked out that place a little bit sooner? Maybe? It's, it's really hard to say. Anyway, to Heavenly Hall we go. Oh my. What? Huh? That's my flag right there. Next to Japan, there it is. Whoa! Not much of a view down here, huh? It's still better than the view from my apartment, though. Ha ha ha. Tisk! Someone's here. Hide yourself, detective. Yo, pretzel! Oh, why, 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 why does this always happen? Oh, hello. That's not pretzel, is it? Whenever I find a girl I like, they always run away! I even chase one of them to Japan. Next, it's going to be prison, I guess. Jesus, if you keep chasing him, yeah, you're probably going to prison. That is true. I'll steal that detective's wallet. That'll... What? That'll get me locked up for sure? What? No, I can't do, do that to someone who looks like he's down on his luck. He's just talking to himself, actually. Shut up! Be quiet! I knew it! I shouldn't have done that! I blew it again! Done what? What did you... What? Hey, you! What are you saying? I got an objection! What the fuck?! Gumshoe, you fucking idiot. I'm sorry, sir. Before I knew it, I was shouting out objection. It was just, it seemed really cool. And in a loud, commanding voice, too. I even pointed with my pointer finger. You've watched too many trials. I'm sorry. Okay, Larry, the jig is up. What have you got to say for yourself? Ugh! Such a banger. It's so good. Let me examine all your shit first. Hang on. What is this festive looking ornament? It reminds me of art class in grade school. It's a bunch of flags, actually. We used to have a lot of fun decorating the classroom with origami, remember? Is this origami or is it flags? Which one is it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Y you were never any good at it. Really? No, I was great, actually. Yeah, this guy was so bad, he couldn't even fold a dollar, let alone a crane. Everyone tried to comfort him, but he, he would just sit there sobbing. Really? I Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! This is exactly why I hate childhood friends. That right there. Let's see. That's a horrible graffiti problem you got there, pal. You don't know anything, detective. This is art. It's an expression of my bittersweet love for Iris. What do you even mean by that? It's how the artist himself defines it, right? I should have seen that one coming. Well, if that's the case, then all my lunch boxes are masterpieces too, pal. You got that right. Stairs? Wooden stairs to the base of the from the bridge? That's crazy. 
Let's go all the way to Dusky Bridge. It's, a, it's, it's like a lot of stairs. I fell down four times on my way down here, sir. I don't know why I said that, but I thought you would know. Oh, I don't know what to say to that, but okay. I ate four bananas and tossed their peels on the stairs on my way down here. What the fuck? What? So that's what I was slipping on? Be careful on the way back. Those deadly banana peels are still out there. What an asshole. That's a real important piece of information right there, Mr. Edgeworth. Probably. Those goddamn banana peels. Look at that bridge. It's a little bit far, but that's like the bridge, right? Ah, I still can't believe it, really. What? 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 Uh, uh, I don't know, nothing. It's a bridge. Something about that statement smells, and you know what they say. We almost said it, but we didn't, so it's all okay. I don't have to take a drink for it. Uh, this is, uh, well, it's Heavenly Hall. There it is. The straw roof is totally covered with freshly fallen powdery snow. Wow, makes a nice image, don't it? I always did like the rustic look. Heavenly Hall? I suppose it's an appropriate name in some sense. You got that right? Look at that bridge up there. This place has to be heaven because that thing is hell. I, you would do well to remember, Larry, that this is a sacred place to some people. Do not be offensive, Larry. Do not offend anyone ever. This is the Eagle River, sir. It runs pretty fast, so it doesn't ice over even in the winter. If it had iced over, Wright would have been in some serious trouble. You're right about that. He would have landed on the ice and slid downstream to who knows where. Not exactly what I meant, but yeah, sure. How did he not freeze to death? He falls in this river that moves so rapidly that, like, the bodies can't be recovered, but somehow he doesn't die of hypothermia? I don't know how that works. But, uh, let's talk to the man. Heavenly Hall. What is this little shack, anyway? Well, I just discovered it by myself yesterday. Did you really? You just discovered this? What about the giant signpost? I don't think you discovered it if it was already here. And why were you down here in the first place? Ah, uh, come on! I'm an artist! I was looking for a good place to sketch. This is a great little place. It's, uh, artistic, maybe. It's quiet, it's cold, it's got no power, and it looks like it's about to collapse. Sounds a lot like my apartment, pal. Laugh track, laugh track, laugh track. One thing's for sure, no one is likely to show up and disturb you here. So, can I get you something to drink? Some hot water, maybe? He's getting all buddy buddy on us, sir. I know. I know. I'm so glad that I am Phoenix Wright and Dick is Maya right now. This is great. Listen to me, Edgy. You've got to do this. You've got to save Iris. Why are you so sure she's innocent? Because she's cute? Watch your tongue! Anyway, I've made up my mind about it. I'm going to marry that girl. Jeez. Oh, boy. I don't know about all that, Mr. Butts. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth is pretending he didn't hear you, so I'm gonna ask for him. Have you already asked this girl to marry you? No, 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 not yet. Uh, but I can tell how she feels by the way, <laughs> by the look in her eyes. She's got this really, I really want this man to carry me over the threshold look. I'm sure Nick would be surprised. He never imagined that I could marry such a beautiful girl like that. Something tells me he would be shocked indeed. That's why I didn't want her to do anything dangerous. I mean, what am I gonna do if she gets hurt? What is this guy trying to say? He lost me about a mile back. About a mile's edge worth back. Hmm. If we really want to know the answer to that, we're going to have to drag him onto the witness stand, which I bet we'll do. Tell me about the night of the crime, please. Come to think of it, you still haven't answered my question. Where were you and what were you doing last night, you asshole? Just tell me the truth. Ah, oh, man, don't you have anything else to talk about? With that kind of attitude, you'll never be a ladies' man like me. I got all the old ladies after me at least, so that's better than nothing. Okay, okay, chill, chill, chill. Chill out with those scary eyes. If you really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. What? Oh, here we go. And there it is. 
three of them that time. Yeah, yeah, but let's not. Let's talk about the good old days. Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot water. Why hasn't he realized that I absolutely despise talking about the good old days, especially with him? I don't like him. Let's do it, I guess. Am I ready to do it? I don't know if I am, but I'll try my hardest right here, right now. The night of the crime. All right, now you're going to tell me what you really saw last night. Whoa, you're really upset, aren't you, Edgy? Okay, I'll talk. What? Oh, that was easy. Yeah, anyway, it was awesome. It was awesome? The murder was awesome? Is that what you're saying? Never seen anything like it? At around 10 o'clock last night, it started thundering. I'd been sleeping, I'm not sure for how long. Suddenly, zing! The world in front of me went white. Like I'd just been slapped on the face by my old girlfriend, Naomi. I don't know what that means really, but okay. And then, I was on fire! The bridge was on fire! It was on Dusky Bridge caught on fire. Are you saying you saw it with your own eyes? Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? I'm telling the truth. Hmm, there are still three Cyclops remaining. That means he's telling me bullshit. By the way, Larry, where were you when you saw this happen? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean, what do I mean? Just answer the question. I was in my own room by the main hall. Where else would I be? As usual, you're as transparent as an empty jelly jar. The problem, I suspect, lies there. The, 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 what, what, what do you mean? It's impossible for you to have been lightning strike dusk... To have seen lightning strike Dusky Bridge from your room. Well, that makes sense. How the hell would you have seen it if you're, like, in the place? And Hazakura Temple? No, more like Heavenly Hall, the place where you can see the bridge from, right? Because that's where you were at the time of the crime? At the time of the lightning striking? Hazakure Temple map? Probably. This is a map of the area. Take a look at the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. Ooh, what am I looking for? I think that should be obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees and it's impossible to see the bridge. What? Why didn't you tell me? I got him. That was easy. Well, how about it? What? Do you feel like talking now? About what? It looks like it won't be that easy after all. You leave me no choice. I'll have to move on to the next step. You weren't in your room at the temple, so then wet. he was at his right here where he's like standing right now. What do you mean? Of course he was. You don't know that I wasn't in my room. So where was Larry and why was he there? If I've read the situation up to this point correctly, the answer is fairly obvious. Very well, let me test my theory. The place where you... Oh shit, is this a spot selection right now? It is! Look at that. Damn. It, you were here in Heavenly Hall, my friend, and that's how you saw the bridge get hit by lightning. Take that. Please take it. Naturally, Heavenly Hall! You saw it? Why would I be hanging out in this old shed? Because this is like where you live. What do you mean? It's cold. It's artistic. It's freezing cold. There's no electricity and it could fall apart at any minute. Larry, how do you know that anyway? How do you know there's no electricity? After all, it's not that dark yet. Uh oh. In other words, you have just provided evidence to prove my theory. My theory that you've at least once in your life visited Heavenly Hall after sunset. I don't think you need to visit a place at night to figure out whether or not it has electricity. Am I wrong for saying that? But I don't think that's necessarily true. But I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I have to admit, I'm impressed, Edgy. You're in a totally different league from Nick. Yes, I am very smart. Now tell me, what were you doing in this cold little shack last night? That's what you might call a fair decor. What? I don't know. Uh, could it be you were waiting for someone? Oh no! You really are one scary guy, you know. I believe that last night you were waiting for this person to come meet you. Was it Iris herself? Maybe it was Elie Domont. But it was probably Iris. Probably the one you wanted to fuck. Was it this one? There's only one person you'd wait for in a horrible place like this, Larry. I told you before, don't call me Larry. 
Oh, that was him saying that. The person you were waiting for was Iris! Oh, no. No doubt because of my chilly glare. And also because it's like five degrees outside. So, you think I got the hots for Sister Iris? Yes. Yes, yes, I have all of the evidence to support that. You got something that proves I was waiting for her, or are you just guessing? This is where I draw the line and end this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence that proves you are waiting for Iris. Shit, do I have that? Is that a thing that I have? Hanging scroll is irrelevant. Iris's hood is irrelevant. That's on Nick right now. Hot it's irrelevant. Oh, Colt. Photo of Elise? That's not Iris. How could you say that's Iris? That's not even her. Weather data? Is this Maya's mom? Is that gonna be like the big secret twist? Is that that's Maya's mom all along? That'd be crazy. Uh, weather data? No. Elise's autopsy report? No. Known to Iris, found in the main hall? Maybe she dropped it? Oh, who wrote the- hold on. To Iris of Hakakura Village. Salutation here! There is something I must talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Oh, probably this one, if he was the one that was there. Probably, yeah. Take that. that was easy enough. Here's your evidence. You called her to this spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. Hey, give me that! You're embarrassing me! What are you doing with that anyway? That's not important. I misjudged you, Larry. What do you mean? Taking advantage of a woman's frailty like that? You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh! First of all, what's this at the top of the letter that says salutation here? Well, that's what it said in my book, Letter Writing for Dummies. You're not supposed to hear. Oh my god, this dude. That's where you're supposed to write, Dear Irish. Wah! I'm so sorry! We got his ass. We did it. No wonder he gets no pussy. It's no wonder at all, the night of the crime. So you were here in Heavenly Hall last night, weren't you, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, did you not? Sorry, Edgy, I lied to you. Sorry doesn't cut it, you fucking asshole, threaten a young lady like that. <laughs> Wait, hold up. What now, pal? What are you talking about? What threatening stuff? I'll tell you what, you're trying to scare Iris by threatening to expose a secret, pal. What do you mean, threaten? What did I threaten her? Unless you want your secret to be exposed. That just sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail, even. Give me a break, it's a love letter. Haven't you been in love? What did you just say? My love for her burns so hotly, it could melt all the snow on this mountain. Oh, then what is this secret you mentioned? Come on, Edgy, don't you get it? I'm talking about the secret love between her and me. The Magatama is not picking up any bullshit. And I'm not sure whether or not that's a good thing or not. Obviously, she wouldn't want old lady bikini to know about it, right? About our hot and sour, bittersweet love affair. All right, then why did you send a love letter in a business-like manila envelope? Give me a break! It's not my fault I didn't have any other envelopes. Yeesh! Then why were you so quick to apologize, pal? It's because Edgy gave that scary look! What's wrong, Edgy? Why are you so quiet? That's it? That's what all those huge locks were about? I don't understand why you were so defensive. I really don't. You got me there. Well, I don't know either. I guess the thing is, I didn't mean to do that. You shouldn't expect too much from a guy like me. That is true. If I had a nickel for every time I said that to a woman. Hey, come on. Don't let it get you down. But Mr. Edgeworth, this guy is still hiding something. I know it. What do you mean, detective? Don't forget what this guy just said a minute ago. If you really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. What, what was the thing? He's right. The lightning striking the bridge? Larry, what? You're looking at me like a hungry dog that just found a bone. What was this something incredible you saw last night? You're going to tell me, Larry, one way or another. Like now, in fact, tell me. I... I already told you, didn't I? 
I saw lightning strike Dusky Bridge! Yes, and I believe it was the incredible sight you saw. But now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. I don't know what that is. If that's all there is to your story, your heart wouldn't have had all those locks! Therefore, Larry, I do believe you saw something last night. Something more incredible than lightning. Whoa, where, where? Hey, what do you think you're doing? If you hide anything from Mr. Edgeworth, I'll arrest you on the spot, because I have the authority. You're joking me. Not again. No, no, no. Holy fuck, no, no! What's wrong, sir? Does this mean I have to do it all over again? Why are you glaring at me like I'm next to be hit by a bolt of lightning? I've just gotta... I, I've had enough of this. If I really want to drag the truth out of him, I'll just have to drag him to the witness stand, I guess. Oh, wait, so that's what I'll do? Wait, are we done? That was it? That ended so abruptly. Okay. Damn, I didn't think that's how that was going to end, but I guess we're done. Sheesh. Well, all right. What are we spamming right now? Oh, you absolutely must enter the courtroom today. You made... What? I didn't make a promise. I tell you what, if the prosecutor is Francisca Von Karma, I will actually do a bad... Okay, well, spoilers, guys. I think I know who the prosecutor is now. Uh, but I'm not going to do it. Shit, I forgot to save. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Don't... No, I don't... Oh my, Mr... And that's the save. Okay, so, yeah, great. I mean, it's not like it wasn't obvious, but... Yeah, I think I, think I know who might show up in court, guys. So expect the backflip tomorrow, I suppose. Because who else could it be? You promised, chat? I didn't promise that I would play the- I- I said- what? What did I promise? Tell me exactly what I promised. My psych locks are up and hard right now. You must enter the courtroom today. You made a promise, Mr. The God, and I quote, I tell you what, if the prosecutor is Francisca Von Karma, I will actually do a backflip live on camera. These were your own words. Now enter the courtroom and discover your fate. Why did- where in that sentence does it imply that I must enter the courtroom tonight? You just lost health, chat. You have not done good investigating and actually... Guilty. You all get a guilty. I'll see you tomorrow or maybe Monday. I don't know. Goodbye. <laughs>